Good afternoon, my people. Good morning, afternoon, and evening. Did I say good morning? Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, my. No, I said good afternoon. Did yeah. I say good morning? No, nah, you probably said afternoon. Did I say good afternoon, you guys? What did I say? But we're in the middle of morning and afternoon. For some, and in people, some countries, evening. So for some people, it's still morning. That's right. Half the country is. Right. Good day. Good day. <laughs> Good, day. Good day, peeps. <laughs> Hello, there. everybody. Thank you for coming in, Shriker. I'm sure that you've got a lot of listing to do. I appreciate you coming in. You guys, I uh, moved to the camera. Can you hear this? Can you hear the whispering? I really can't. You can't? No. I moved it way over there because everybody kept saying I had it too close to the computer. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if it's going to work being over there, but we'll see. This is this is the uh, wide angle camera from Christine B. This one here. Uh oh, how come? Oh, wait a minute. No, I think. Oh no. So you're no 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 no. So the camera that's on right now. That's the phone. Is you the phone camera? Yeah. Yeah, because I can't be on screen at the same with the time other. with the other camera. Mm -hmm. That's right. Still trying to figure out the camera thing, you guys. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Let's say hello. Hello, Mr. Murray Zuckerman, Nance P. Hello, hello, Shell UK. Welcome in. Mr. Steve, hello, hello. Cookie. Hi, Cookie. Oh, look at Cookie's thumbnail. It's been that way a while. It has? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm just seeing it for the first time, Cookie. I'm sorry. That's crazy. <laughs> Mary Ness, hi, honey. Wait, didn't Mary Ness change her um, profile picture? I, I remember this one for a little while. Maybe she had something different. A few Mary, months. didn't you change your profile picture and you changed it back? It was so cute. I'm trying to think of what. No, her name. She changed her name. She changed she had something her back. In the middle, didn't she? Yeah, I think she changed her name. Hello, Heidi. Jenny, skipped over you. Sorry, honey. Fancy pinks. School's out for summer. I wish it was out forever, right? Hello, Pamela. Can't lose saying that, right? Hello, Heather. Hello, hello. Vintage memories. Hello, welcome in. Hi, Jill. Welcome in, Leon, you guys. Hey, Abraham, welcome in. Good to see you. Kim D, Homescape Closeouts. Hi from Colorado, first time here. Well, welcome, Kim. You guys, behave yourselves. We have guests in the house. Kim, you're only a guest for like five minutes and then and then you become one of us. So beware. You guys behave yourself for at least five minutes. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Stitch It. Sandy Kirk. Hello, hello. East Coast Thrifting. Good morning, good morning. Valerie, so good to see you. Kevin Kelly. Hello, hello. Whoopsie. Where's Kevin? There he is. Happy Monday. That's right. Susie, hello, honey. Karen, are you home yet? I hope you're home. I hope they let you go. I hope they released you. Karen was in the hospital, you guys, not in jail. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> Same difference. Sorry if I missed anybody. You guys, my chat skipped, so I'm scrolling back up to see if I missed anyone. And um, Heather MC, hello, welcome in. Susan, good morning, good morning, good morning. Mr. Buys a lot, yay! Mr. Buys a lot's in the chat. Hello, Miss. Oh, yes, they let her go home. Awesome, awesome. I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad. Brian, okay. are you back, uh, back to Pennsylvania now? Um, traveling, so. Yeah, his son, he's setting his son up for, I'm going to be doing the same thing pretty soon. He's mm -hmm. setting his son up for um, for school. Apartments and moving in and dorms and all that crazy stuff for 
uh, first year college students. Connie Johnson, hello. I'm headed your way in July, Donna. Awesome, Connie, I hope I can see you. I hope so, I hope so. Sylvia, hello, honey, I see that. I got that payment, thank you so much. I will be shipping it out tomorrow. Amy, hi, honey. Welcome in. So you guys, all the intentions were that we were um, going to be shipping all morning today, but my girls are actually um, going to be coming over any minute. But Lola is like my shipping partner, and she was walking her 10-month-old, um, he's a Great Dane, and Lola is like 80 pounds soaking wet, so it's so funny to see her. She walks him with a lead, so he doesn't he doesn't have the opportunity to to run. He's the size of a pony and he's only 10 months old. He's absolutely huge. And he always falls all over the place. Like he comes over to the house to visit because he's so uncoordinated. Right. So she was walking him this morning and he collapsed on the grass and just started breathing really, really, really heavy. So they rushed him to the pet emergency room. And I'm not quite sure what they did to him. All I know is that he's better. Um, they maybe they gave him like antihistamines or something. The doctor thinks that he may have ingested a poisonous mushroom in the grass, um, and he got really really sick. Um, so he's been in the emergency room since like eight o'clock this morning, and she's actually on her way to go get him. And she had a very traumatic day, of course, you know, being really upset because um, of her dog. So we didn't get. Um, I only shipped out a few things, just a couple of packages. Honestly, yeah, he's fine though, Susan. Um, but she's gonna come tomorrow and we will uh, we'll wrap up a lot of the shipping tomorrow and and we'll be able to uh, hopefully do some combined shipping with um, doing a little auction today. So that will save me money on um, shipping, right? Hey, greens, welcome in. Yeah, so that's pretty scary. See, Boston won't do that. Like Boston, what does Boston think of the, of the horse? <laughs> Boston, it's so funny because Boston is kind of like, you know, he's got such a great, he really does have a great personality, but he kind of just like looks at his name is, um, his name is Opie. Opie is his name. And um, he kind of just like looks at Opie with like this look on his face, like, dude, calm down. Because Opie is, he's so high energy. He doesn't stop. He's like constantly in his, and his feet are going all over the place. And he drools wicked bad. When I tell you, like, I am so grossed out by the drool. Like Lola literally walks around with like a paper towel, like constantly like sopping up his drool. Why do those dogs drool so much? Oh, so gross. So gross. That voice bus doesn't Boston doesn't know he's a dog. He's probably thinking what is wrong with that animal. I know, right? I almost videotaped him last night. Um so you guys know I used to broadcast from the dining room, right? So now the dining room, my, my dining room is out in my great room. And, and we haven't decided what we're going to do with the dining room now. My husband's thinking that he wants to make it kind of like a leave the dining room out in the big room. And since the dining room is more enclosed, he's thinking about making it like a theater room, mm -hmm. um, put the big screen TV on there and, you know, some like a sofa with, you know, the cups and stuff, the recliners and make it like a theater room is what he's thinking he wants to do. Is it so, big enough for that? Yeah. A lot of space, yeah. Yeah, it's big enough for that. I mean, you only saw like, like you wouldn't know how big this dining room is just by seeing like what's behind me. This is, this is a good sized dining room here in, in the cottage. So anyways, um, the kids had, um, you know those scooters that you stand on and you have to like wiggle your hips? Have you seen the kids riding those? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. So Denali had one of those and it was in the storage unit um, for a long time. And now that it's came out of the store, you know, I, I got rid of all the storage units. Um, it ended up back home and my husband hasn't 
decided what he wants to do with it yet. It's always hard, you guys, with, you know, stuff that belongs to your dead son. It's like, what do you do with it? Anyways, we donated a lot of it, but there's certain things that the family wants to keep. Anyways, long story short, the kids were taking turns riding it because my great room is kind of big and then the dining room is completely empty. There's nothing in there. So they were taking turns like doing figure eights between the dining room and the great room in my house, riding the scooter, the big scooter around the house. And Boston was going hysterical. Like he was galloping like he was, I was gonna videotape him because you wouldn't believe how cute he was. He was like, he was like jumping like a gazelle. Like he was so excited over this scooter, like going around in the house. It was- uh, He was trying to herd the sheep. It was so cute. It was so cute. I'm like, what is he doing? Shrooms are bad for doggies, not great for people. Well, not all kinds. Yeah, some of them are, are really, really great. Jason, thrift trader, um, he goes mushroom picking every year and he'll always do like a little video where he picks. My father used to know the good mushrooms and the bad mushrooms. We used to go up in the woods of like New Hampshire and Maine and pick the mushrooms. A lot of them would grow like either, I can't remember because I was really young, either on the tree or next to the tree. And I don't know what kind of mushrooms they were, but I have no idea. Should, are they shiitake mushrooms? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what kind of mushrooms they are. But um, yeah, so I went home last night. We had sushi, which was really nice. And then I hit it back hard again today. Just don't get mushrooms off cow patties. Oh, those are the ones that, those are the ones, that my friends used to eat mushrooms when I was growing up. I've never done mushrooms, but they're hallucinogenic. I can't say that word. Hallucinogenic. Hallucinogenic. Yeah, right? Some are, some aren't. Some are, yeah, but my friends used to have them in little baggies and they'd break little pieces and, and eat them. I never tried them. I was like, I'm I'm all set. <laughs> like, I don't need to feel any different than I already do. I feel just fine. I never did that kind of stuff. Mm -mm -mm, no way. No way. So, hi, Katie Ann. Happy Monday. Going to be listening and working. All right, Katie. Awesome. Katie, I pulled out some clothing. I think your size, I think your personal shopping and maybe listing some. Um, so just to give you guys an update of what I have, you guys can see that I have um, some, some more video games available. I'm going to do some one-off coats. I have a really great shoe lot. I'm going to do some one-off jewelry. Hi, Thelma. I'm going to do some one-off jewelry because yesterday people were asking for one-off jewelry um, and I never got to it. I kind of like lost steam and I, I had to get home too because it was getting late. We were on for quite a bit and I had to get home and see what the family plans were. Um, a plush lot. I have a record lot. I have some yarn. Um, I have a toy lot. I got some stuff. I have one thing that's really pretty incredible. Um, Shriker suggested that I show it to you guys. Um, I am going to bring it to a reputable jeweler and hey, Elsie, welcome in um, a reputable jeweler that I know in Jupiter and I know he'll be very fair with me with the price. But Schreiker said, why don't you offer it up to your viewers and see if anybody's interested. And I said to Schreiker, I said, well, if that's the case, I'm not going to allow anybody to use a gift certificate to buy it because I really need to sell it because I have a lot of expenses this week and I'm winning on a storage unit. I am. Yeah, you were about out of inventory. You probably need another unit. I have not purposely have not gone to look at storage units because I don't need to buy any storage units right now. I have so much inventory, but if I do win the storage unit, I am going to need that money to pay for the storage unit. So 
I'll show it to you. I'll show the 74 people here. I'll show it to you now. Maybe I'll show it to you earlier. Schreiker did the math on it. So Schreiker, you help me with the math. I'm going to show it now and you guys can decide. It's a disease. We can't, we can't help it. Right, Pamela? <laughs> um, so how many grams is it? All right. We figured it was 43.3 grams. 43.3 grams. Of 14K. 3 grams. 14K. It's Italian, 14K. It says Italy on it. Um, and I'll show it to you. I'm going to switch cameras. Yes, Steve, I have um, some more comics too. Okay, let me switch cameras. And Schreiker, what did we say we were going to start it at? Well, that's entirely up to you. The, the melt value which would be your very bottom is about 1450 right now. $1,450, you guys, yep. is the melt value, but it is certainly is not meltable because it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful piece. Whoops, it was a beautiful piece. Now it's on the floor. Susan wants to know the length. Um, I'll tell you what, if I knew my daughter would wear this, I would I'd give this to her as a graduation gift. Because it's it's so beautiful. Um okay, I'm gonna have to get a soft ruler. Let me just see one second here if I can do it with this, because it does not completely no, it doesn't straighten out. So let's see, from here to here, it's five. You might just put that one camera on so they can get a better view. Ten. No, let me go get a soft. Let me go get a soft. Um, let me go get a soft ruler. I mean, a soft measurer. Hold on, let me do this. Fourteen carat Italian gold. Let me go get a soft um, seamstress um, measuring tape. All right. Did you find one? Yep. I so did. If you had to, you could just roll it along the table and see, what, you know, up against the tape measure. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, no, I found one. Hey, Junebug. Thank you, Cindy. Mm -hmm.
16. It's 16. And I thought I'd show it to you. It's not scrap, but I am selling it for strack. Um, the scrap price, Stryker looked it up, and he said that gold is low right now, right? It's lower this week than in the past couple, yeah. Ah, <laughs> Dale. <Damn. laughs> right. Okay, Sandy, it is uh, Italian gold. It's Italian gold. And it is definitely yellow. It's not white, right? I know, right, Susan? No, Mama's got to sell it. Mama has to sell it. All right, so just wanted to show it to you. I'll show it again at the end. Um, about it if anybody's interested. Yep. Yeah. If not, it's going to the jewelers, not to the pawn shop, to the jewelers. I know a really great jeweler that will probably um, give me some good money for that. He'll at least give you spot price because it's worth quite a bit more than that. Yeah. Yep, it is. It's beautiful. It's nice. Okay. So... Well, since I have this camera on, let's do this lot. All right, let me show you what I got. It's, uh, this is a mix. Um, for those of you that weren't tuned in over the weekend, this was from a um, GameStop that closed. So these are the ones that are pre-owned are, um, they've all been tested because you know, um, hey Craig, GameStop um, will only sell things that have been cleaned and tested. So this one is Sims 3. Um, okay, so let's just go over, let me put myself on the screen. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. I got <laughs> kind of excited with the... Uh, well, yesterday we skipped them. That's why I was wondering. <laughs> Huh? Well, yesterday we skipped them at the beginning. All right. the rules. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. So here's the rules. I know a lot of you are uh, my regulars, but we do have a guest in the house. So let's go over some of the rules. Be sure that you are on um, live chat, not top chat. And you find that just by going to the top of the chat, you'll see top chat. Hit the arrow click live chat. Now everybody should be on live chat so that you can see real time uh, bidding going on. Okay. Uh, we bid in um, $2 increments up to 50. And then after 50, we've been $5 increments. If it gets to 100, we go to $10 increments. Um, please say that you're out if you're done bidding, but you can always come back in before Shriker says fair warning. I'm famous for continuing. I usually will say, hold on a minute and sweeten the pot and keep adding things to it. So you can always come back in. This is an as-is auction, no returns, no refunds given. Be sure you know what you're bidding on. And, of course, I always put the disclosure, unless I say something is something that it's not. Um, and I would only do that by accident. Um, then I will um, make good on it 200%. Um, if you received damaged merchandise, I will also make good on it 200%. Erica, is that a new picture? Good afternoon, honey. Good She's afternoon. Um, <coughs> here's the link. If you register, let me know that you're registered so that I can go in and check your registration. Be sure to add city, state, and zip code on the address line. Um, Donna, I need to talk to you sometime, if possible. Call you right after the auction, sweetheart. Call me anytime. If I'm not live, you know you can call me anytime. I always answer the phone. Donna is loaded with integrity, best in the business. Erica! Thank you. <laughs> that is so sweet. Thank you for saying that. Thank you so much. Wonder Woman. Hello, sweetheart. I registered. Kim. Okay, let me go check, Kim. Just take me one quick second. Kim, you are 
perfect. Let me just see. You guys, from now on, um, I'm going to ask... Yes, you did. From now on, I'm going to ask that you please include your phone number on the registration form. I talked to T about it. Um, it's something that... I'm going to require from now on because sometimes I need to get in touch with someone like right away. And um, if I don't have your phone number, then Mr. Carl Bach, Donna rocks. I have to run out to the store real quick. I'll be back listening while I work. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Okay. Kim, you have a, um, a wrench. So you are good to go. Um, no gum today, Carl. <laughs> no, no gum today. Let's see. There was something else I was just going to mention, um, and I forgot. What was it? What was it? Um, One last thing. What was that? Shipping. No, I have. To, that's good. I have to cover shipping, but there was something else that I was just thinking about, and now I can't think of it. Okay, shipping, you guys. Shipping is free. Um, $30 purchase. If your purchase is less than $30, I... I'm live every day, seven days a week these days. Um, if I'm not live, it's because I'm so tired that I couldn't come live or there's a family event or something family-wise that's gotten in the way. Sometimes I'm live twice a day. So if your order is less than $30 after like three auctions, I will invoice you with the shipping. I do use Pirate Ship. Um, so I give you the lowest, lowest price. Shipping is free in the continental USA and Puerto Rico. Anybody that's overseas, you are more than welcome to buy. I will give you a shipping quote, which will be a separate from your auction purchase. And I will be happy to ship to you. If Oh, that's what I wanted to say. If you're registered with me, you're registered oh, uh, as well with T. Um here is T's Buy It Now video. She is currently at the moment. So you want to go subscribe to T. There's her link. Um, she's shipping. Her and her husband are shipping right now. I did invite her to come on. And uh, she's just got a lot to do. She's leaving tomorrow morning to head back to Long Island. So T is like my unspoken kind of like partner, not partner. She's like a partner, but not really a partner. We have, our businesses are completely separate, but we do auctions together all the time. Uh, we take turns bouncing back and forth from my channel to her channel and Schreiker usually joins us. Um, free shipping is amazing given the crazy shipping cost. Oh my God, Erica, I was saying a lot, one day last week, I said to T, I said, I, I paid over $400 in shipping in one day one day well, when I'm shipping out 40 packages a day an average of $10 a package it adds up really quick it's crazy oh uh, there's T you guys please go and subscribe if you're not um she's the other P in the pod exactly Katie and that's a good way of putting it absolutely um Craig says, Donna and T are the best auctioneers I've seen online in a really, really long time. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the compliments, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> KP says, I wish I had that problem. No, you don't. Oh my gosh. No, you don't. Everybody's saying hi, T. You guys, I'm going to give a great big hello back from everyone from T because I know that she's working, hustling really, really hard. And I know T, she'd want to say, um, hello to each and every one of you, but she's probably got, got us playing in the background and, um, you know, maybe just glancing at the computer while she's working. Hi, Gail. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thanks. Maybe possible storage unit blowout coming soon, right? Erica, I've done auctions from my storage units and I did one live where I went, I paid for the storage unit and I took you guys with me and I opened up the storage unit like right there and I did an auction. Like didn't even know people, people were bidding on mystery boxes. Like I'd, I'd pull a box and people were like, all right, let's start the bidding at $25. Not even knowing what's in the box. As a matter of fact, Thelma, Thelma bought a box um, a mystery box. And then she did an unboxing. 
OMG what she got in that box. She got so many nice things, sealed, just sealed. But it's a chance you take. It's just like when I buy mini storages. I mean, she could have gotten a bunch of personal paperwork and canceled checks, <laughs> right? Which, trust me, sometimes that happens. You know, you pay hundreds of dollars and you get nothing but just a pile of shit. But we'll see. We're bidding on the one I'm bidding on is all the way down in Boca Raton, which Boca Raton has, um, you know, some pretty high end real estate. So it's a, it's about an hour. It's about an hour from home. But if I win it, how big is it? I didn't even look. Uh. No, I just put a proxy on it. I just put a proxy on it and I didn't even look. I don't know if it's 10 by 15 or 10 by 10. I just looked at it and I'll, I threw a proxy on it and we'll see what happens. Yes, I did say shit. Craig Wolf says, I love mystery boxes. Oh, she did it. She said hi to everybody. <laughs> All right, G. I'm glad you got that out of your system. I know, right? She was, though, Erica. She's been doing big blowouts. She's been doing big blowouts. It's mostly moved now. No. Well, she has one truck left, but she's already moved two trucks. So she's got two more trucks that she's yeah. got to bring down. Tony B. Hello, hello, and welcome in, Mr. Tony B. If you would like to join the family, Shriker's going to drop the link if you want to register. Anybody who's walk watching in the background, now is a good time to register because if you see something that you like, we don't hold up the auction for anybody to register. Unless someone can vouch for you in the chat of who you are, there's the registration link. Um but she's coming shopping, so she's going to have three trucks. What is she? She better not. <laughs> oh my gosh, she better not. She better not is right. She better not. He just doesn't want to move all of his stuff. Right. So so if I win that auction, if I win that mm -hmm. um, storage unit tomorrow i'll take you guys with me for the ride down there and then we'll pay for it and we'll open the door and we'll see what i we'll see what i got okay see so if i win it that will be tomorrow afternoon that'll be tomorrow afternoon that i'll do that tomorrow morning i'm shipping all day so and if it doesn't if i don't win it then i'll go live here and sell stuff right is it you think it's big enough to rent a u-haul um, <laughs> well, I probably will go down there just with my truck. I mean, I have a you seven foot, time. yeah, and pay for it and see what I'm up against to put my locks on it. And if it's um, more than I want to handle, then I'll pay the boys to go down and haul it all back for me. Yeah. Just give them the keys and the address and have them go down. So you don't want to go down more than one time. So. I, you know, yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to go down more than one day because I can't do anything with this shoulder. I can't be lifting. I can only do oh, little I things. Say, just go down and pay for it and look at it and then let them go pick it all up. Yeah, I'll take and I'll take everybody with me and then we'll see what's in it. We'll open up a few boxes and then I'll lock it up and, and send the boys to go down and get it. Yes, I have some CD lots. I have a, I have a. Is it CDs or DVDs? What are over there? I don't know. I think it's a combination of both. Yes, Donna, feel free to share my information with OK Steve. Donna, all good to share my personal information. Oh, I forgot to do that. Wonder Woman, why don't you put your, um, your email right in the chat? I was supposed to send somebody else's email, too, and I didn't do it. I wrote it down. It wasn't those two, though. That was somebody else. I wrote it down. It's on my sheet. No, Erica, it's not. I tried not to sleep on it last night. I usually sleep on my right side and um, I tried to sleep on my left side, but I woke up a couple of times and I was on, on my right side. I just, do you guys have like a certain side that you sleep on? Do you have a certain side that you sleep on, Shrika? Yep. Yeah. 
I always sleep on my right. Always. I'm always on my right. It's so strange. I know, I, I'm very uncomfortable sleeping the other direction. I either sleep on my right or I sleep like on my back. I sleep on my back a lot too. It's not Heidi. It's definitely not. Oh, there you go, Wonder Woman. See? Yeah, to let him get it, then just delete it in 30 seconds. Yeah. That, that way, way it's not on the replay. Yeah, that way it doesn't stay forever. As soon as you grab it, Steve, um, let Wendy know and she can delete it from the stream. Heidi, I am not going to allow myself to even think that it's a rotator cuff injury. Absolutely not. That's not even possible. I'll wait until the end of the week. If it's not better, I'll call the doctor. I hate being injured because I'm too busy for that. Okay, I'm going to put the other camera on and I'm going to do, Shriker, do you want to do this or do you want to be completely off? You can, you can just, um, you can take me turn off. the camera off if you want. Okay. Um, you know, if you need to like itch your nose or something. <laughs> I need to go up and well, let's see, we were starting at 25, I believe. I have had two surgeries in three years on the same shoulder. Don't wait too long. Oh, Heidi. Um, so I've been putting, I've been taking um, Advil and I've been putting the 5% medicated. It's lidocaine. Is that right? Lidocaine yeah. patch. Um, I have one left. So I'm going to wait for the girls to come over. And then I have this other cream, prescription cream stuff that um, I've been putting on it. And I haven't put that on it yet today. I'm going to try putting that on it. See if that helps it. Okay. Let's start over here and we'll see what we got. Looks like a lot of them there. Yeah. I, I, I pulled a big lot. Let's sell them. Raymond Origins, Xbox 360. This one is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Did you know that or did you read that? No, I knew that because okay. um, the kids used to play it. Right. It was like so popular. Pirates of the Caribbean Lego. So I think that video games might be like hot sellers again now because of the kids being off on um, school break. Let's see what this one is. This one is called Storm 3. Yep. Of what? I don't know if something's above storm, but I can't read it. Me neither. It looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh or something. I don't know. This one is Godfather 2 for Xbox? Yep. Rainbow Legends? Forza Horizon? Forza. Racing. This one, let's look. Lord of the Rings Lego. This one, Banjo Kazooie, <laughs> Xbox 360. The kids used to love to play that. Puff Puffs. Pass helps everything, Erica. <laughs> We're Saxton. <laughs> Sims 3. Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Um, Star Wars. Legos Star Wars. This one is Forza Horizon 2. Batman Telltale series. 
Marvel versus Camp Com Farming mm -hmm. Simulator. Buzz with Mega Quiz with the book. Ghostbusters <laughs> Xbox 360. Dale says he wants to bid on your unit in Boca. I want to bid on that unit in Boca. Tell me how. What do you mean? You want to outbid me? Kidding. He's kidding. <laughs> we music. And he wants to make sure you don't win it for sure. Right? <laughs> Kung Fu Panda. Ultimate board game collection. 12 classics from around the world. Skylanders, Cyro's invent, uh, Adventure, Wii U. Wasn't somebody asking for Wii U the other day? I don't know. Just Dance 2015. Here's another Wii U, Zombie U. This one is Wii Rock Blast. PlayStation 4. Train four. Get moving family fitness. Well, that's cute. Get the family involved. Look at the new camera. Wow, big wide angle. Um, excite bots. Jeep thrills. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Carly, I join the click. Monster World Circuit. DJ Hero 360. And there's another DJ Hero for 360. Disney Xfinity. Another Disney Xfinity. A third Disney Xfinity. Your Shape. Here's a 360 Star Wars. Here's a Disneyland. Another Disneyland. A third Disneyland. And a fourth Disneyland. So this is a good reseller lot. I'll give you a count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 30, okay, Shreya, that should make you a moderator. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, folks. There's 43 games here. Did uh, Shreya... Did no, you say registration? Shreya, you mm -hmm. only get um, a wrench if you're registered. I don't have a registration from you. That's a nice big lot of games. I'm going to go get a bin to put them in. A bin to put them in.
43 games. Oh, I can't even lift that. All right. Eric is at 65. And we're sold, sold, sold for, was it 65? 65. $65. Thank you, Erica. Great deal, honey. It is a good price. Oh, yeah. That's an awesome Boy, price. For sure. Hello, beautiful Joy Munkin. Oh. Everything is an effort. Yeah, about 50 a game. You hardly ever find that. I have one more mega lot of games. I'm going to blow through it. And this is all I've got. Unless I decide to get more. This is the last of them. I'm doing it all in one big lot. All right, you guys? Is there more than the last one? Yep. Yep. More than the last mm -hmm. one. Babysitting Mama for we. Call of Duty. Project Runaway. Happy Feet 2. Sealed NBA 2K18. Sealed Anthem. Sealed Anthem again. Is that sealed? No. Disneyland. Sealed Mega Mind. Rapala Tournament Fishing. Space Chimps. Backyard Football. Mr. Tom Brady. Blast. What'd you say? Tom Brady's on the cover of football. Uh, was it? Yep. Hey, Kimberly. Monster mm -hmm. Jam. The White Snowboarding. I don't know what that is. Something Vengeance. Far Cry. Pe 
pets, dogs, too. Skylanders Swap Force. Arctic Tales for We. The Naked Brothers Band. You Draw Studio. Celebrity Sports Showdown. Outdoor Challenge. Birthday Party Bash. Lego Batman. Disney Uverse, Xbox 360. Halo 4, Xbox 360. Crackdown 3. Crackdown 3 again. Sticks. We Music. Dangerous Hunts. WWE All-Stars Xbox 360. My Neighbor, Mr. Tiger Woods, PGA Tour. Zumba. Could you bring Tiger on screen one of these days? Yeah, right? <laughs> we Music. High School Musical. Bowling Pin Busters. I would have had a better chance with Celine Dion. Massimo is, uh, used to be good friends with uh, her son. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he used to go and hang out at Celine Dion's house in her Jupiter uh, Island house with the great big huge water park. Need for Speed Pro, and my husband was um, his, uh, we have, um, what's, what's it called? Um, it was before the travel team. It was um, the rec club. It was the rec club, and um, my husband was the volunteer baseball coach for the rec club. And he had um, he had Celine Dion's son on his baseball team. That's how him and Massimo met. Hot Wheels, world's best drivers. Aliens versus predators. Greg Hastings, and when uh, we went to go and pick up Massimo at Celine Dion's house, her security guards knew. Like they must have done background checks on us to even like get go on to the property because they knew about my son's death and like they knew everything about us and they like actually they didn't just like ask for our IDs they actually like chatted with us at the gate. Cool. Yeah, X Man. I mean, think about it though. Going to see Celine Dion was like going to see like. Michael Jackson. Do you know what I mean? Like the security is just incredible at our house. Uh, this one's brand new Battlegrounds Player Unknown. Um, Sims 3. Almost done, you guys that are bored with the games. And this is it. That's all I have. I won't be showing anymore. Red Dead Redemption. This one is something Marvel, Ultimate Marvel Camp, Camp Con. Um, this is the same, you get two of those. DJ Hero. And what's this one? Let's open this baby up and see. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. On that one. This one is Fatal CSI Fatal Conspiracy. 
This one is Lego Harry Potter. This one is Dirt 3 BC, Bully Scholarship Edition. It's called Bully. And DMC Xbox 360. And this one is called Rage. Rage 2. That's it, folks. That's all she wrote. That's everything. We've got Greg at 70. Hello, Amrit. Welcome in. Okay, I'll count them for you as I put them away. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57 games total. 57 games. All going out in one big lot. See you later, games. Done, done, and done. Oh, and there's this one too. Sorry, Nicole. Erica beat you by just a second there. It oh, this is. Me. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's just the chat skipped a little bit on me there. Oh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> Mr. Buys a lot. This one's brand new. I have no more games. That's it. I'm fresh out of games. That's all of them. That's all of them. And unless another deal comes along, that's all she wrote. Done and done. See you later, alligator. Erica comes in at 90. Well, she had 85 technically, so I took Greg's 90 there. Kind of a messed up area right there. Nicole is out. Hello, Carol Ann. She says, how have you been, Schreiker? He's been busy. Donna's been keeping him really busy. Yep. Greg is out. Eric is at 95. She 
just going getting twice. A good, getting a couple good boxes of games today. Yep. Nice and easy. I can ship them all in one box. Got a fair warning. And she'll like listing them too. So some duplicates there. Uh oh, Greg might be in trouble with Brian. Ninety-five. Thank you, Erica. Thank you so much, sweetheart. No, if he's saying you might want to email me, I he's bet you. He's called at the principal's office. <laughs> he's got something. He's got something that Mr. Lusk wants. You might want to email me. I just. I can hear Brian saying it. You might want to email me. <laughs> All right. This is my next lot. It's, uh, I don't know if it belongs in this here. Let me put it, let me put this on full screen. I don't know if this is the actual jewelry maker. I have no idea, but it is. I checked um, 925. It is 925. And let's see. Is it a nice oh, Oops. I just lost, lost the, the camera. camera. Yeah. Whoops. Hold on. Okay. There it is. Let me lower this a little bit. Wow, that's pretty pretty good. You can see all the dirt on the table. Oh yeah. So it's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. And let me get that tape measure. I can measure it for you. $10 start on the 925 bracelet. Thank you, Carol Ann. That's 101 games. Wow. Awesome, Erica. All from the comfort of your home. How can you beat that? You don't have to go driving around trying to find them all. That's what's good about the auctions, you guys. Okay. So it measures. Seven and a half. Or a seven and a half. Seven and a half. And like I said, I don't know if this is the actual box and the actual maker of it, but this is how I found it. Maker's mark on the clasp, perhaps? Nope, it just says 925, I looked. 925. So are they hearts with a little gem in the middle of them or what? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's got little diamonds. I mean, I'm assuming they're bu cubic zirconia, but if they're real diamonds, maybe you guys can throw me a little tip. Because <laughs> if those are real diamonds, I'm going to be really upset. Do they usually set real diamonds in silver? I don't I'm really still, know. I doubt it. Hey, Susan Arrington. Hey, they want to see it a little, a little bit closer. They want to see it a little bit closer? Yep. If it'll focus. Oh, yeah. Is that good, you guys? Yeah, I can see it pretty well. You could put it in one of those really nice boxes that you had the other day. Yeah. I was going to do that, but I figured I'd just leave it in this box in case it is like this maker. Right. So 
Silver bracelet is going to. Well, we still have Helen. Helen is out. Dee's collection is out. Looks like green. All right. We'll go once. Oh, there's Joanne. Oh, hey, Joanne. Okay. Thank you, Greens Vintage. Joanne Young. Thanks everybody for coming in this afternoon. I have a little bit longer than normal delay today. Do you? Yeah, up around 10 to 12 seconds. Right. Well, YouTube is anyway. I want to give it a hair bit longer on some of them. Okay, this is a beautiful stained glass jewelry box. And I think I put some nice pieces in it. Here, I'll show it to you. There's the jewelry box. Let me stand this up a little bit higher. Okay. And this is real stained glass. It's all glass. I don't see any, any cracks. It's in excellent condition. And... Um, uh oh, full of stuff. This is what I have in it. Um, Start at 25. All kinds of beautiful jewels. Yeah, you can start it at 25. So there's this beautiful hematite and rose quartz angel. Here's a collection of different stones, all natural stones. I don't know what I'm showing here. Even after two years of showing jewelry, I still struggle with it. I would say that's black onyx, and I don't know what kind of stone that is. But this is all stone. This is all cold. It looks like they maybe cut a piece of stone. Yeah, sliced it thin sliced it thin and then put maybe an onyx border on it and it looks like mountains it's really beautiful and i didn't look to see if this was silver but i'll look for you let you know if it's silver or not I don't see the marking. That doesn't mean anything. Hi, Holly. I didn't see you sneak in, honey. She said she's on mute, so she can only see the chat. Ah. Uh, 
Is Jean Pierre is here? Hey, Jean Pierre. Carol Ann says that necklace has pictured Jasper and Onyx. Um, one of the other ones I just showed. Yeah, that one with the slice. Uh, that's a real pretty one too. Yeah, this is beautiful, right, Carolyn? Isn't it gorgeous? That, I should have done that as a one-off. That is a beautiful piece. Yeah. That's a beautiful piece right there. Don't forget you get this beautiful jewelry box with these also. These are all natural stones. Glass and stones. So pretty. This is beautiful. That is a really pretty piece. Animal fetish. Is that a dolphin or something maybe? That's a bear. That's a dolphin. Amethyst. Tiger's eye. A beautiful Aurora Borealis. And that one. And that's the whole lot. All wearable, all beautiful. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine beautiful necklaces, and the pretty glass box. Can you turn the box over? Show the bottom. Sure. It's just velvet. Yeah. Or felt. I like the the handle is the uh, piece of glass also sticks out in front. I love this lot. I was like so happy to put this lot together this morning. When I was making it, I was like, "Ooh, it's so pretty." I had to go like searching for all natural stones and. Someday I'm going to do like a video of like what it takes to prepare for an auction. You guys to put all this stuff together and think it through and make sure that it's all like really nice stuff that everybody's going to love. And this one's my favorite. This one's beautiful. And I always, always have had a passion for this. I love, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. I think it looks so beautiful on women. And you can wear that with anything and it looks beautiful. All right, where are we at? $100. Greg, Benjamin, where's my bell? 
Ding, ding, ding. Goals, goals, goals. Goals, goals, goals. You like that one? You like this one too, Greg? Which one? Do you like the, the Aurora Borealis one? Or this picture, this, what did she call it? Picture Jasper? Yeah. That's the one most people were reacting to the most. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Oh, Greg likes the, the Jasper too. It's so pretty. Yeah. Right, Greg? Good pieces in there though. So lots of beautiful pieces. All right. Greg gets it for Benjamin. Thank you, Greg. That's an awesome deal. They compliment his handbags. Yep. <laughs> Is that what he wrote? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. And he wants to use his gift certificate, of course. All right. You got it. Thank you, Greg. All right. Let's put this away. All right. How about we do, let's see what's in here. This one. It's got a magnetic, magnetic clasp on it. And it has a piece of um abalone with beads and i put it in one of those boxes oh one of the nice ones yeah yeah the jc penny boxes and we'll start that one at 10. so it is not a jc penny piece it's just no 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 it's not a jc penny piece I know, you know what, Katie, and um, I had several people asking me for jewelry in the chat the other night, so I wanted to, uh, I, I put together some pieces of jewelry, and I figured I'd show those, but I have, I have lots of other things, too. I'll go grab something else. I don't want you guys to get bored. Holly comes in at 10. Well, this one should be easy to measure. No markings on the clasp or anything? No, uh-uh. It's just got a magnetic clasp and just beads. And the abalone. And the abalone, that's it. Okay, let's meet. Sandy, I didn't prepare any wallets today. It's been a while since you had this much. Yeah, you know what, Katie and I haven't been showing jewelry because I just found my scale. I'm still missing my ring sizer. It must have got packed in one of the boxes that I haven't gotten to yet. Okay, so this bracelet is going to Holly for 10. Awesome, Holly. I'll do it. Combined shipping with your order from the other day, which will be easy. Lot number five. 
All right, awesome. I'm going to do, I'm going to switch cameras. There we go. And I have pre-given these, the scratch test and the, um, um, twist test. So these are a brand new pair of bass, never been worn. Um, Size. They're all from that same unit. They're called Catherine two and they are genuine leather and they are size. Um, I can't see it. What does it mean? To, it says genuine upper sock balance, man-made material. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Sock balance. Size six. Size six. Black loafers. Okay, $25 start. Those were definitely not worn. Oh, no. None of these are worn. These are all brand new. All brand new. These are, again, Weijans, limited edition, Bass. And they're probably size six as well. This woman just would buy, 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 and not wear, wear, wear. And she would buy like the same style. Like, what's the difference between these shoes? They're like same style. And next we have the same as these only in brown, size six, all leather, brand new. They almost look like they have that, like that non-skid on the bottom there. Yeah. Brand new shoes. And next we have Clarks, those look comfortable. Unstructured. Those look so comfortable. So you get those in black and you get them in brown. <laughs> Two colors. These come in black and brown and these come in black and brown. I think what I'll do is I'll just uh, show the one shoe at the end like I usually do. And these are almost identical, but they're just a little bit different. The toe on them is just a little bit different. Clark's again. And then these Saxton look like made it. What's that? Saxton made it in. Hey, Saxton, I was just asking for you. Brand new. Okay, that's all of them. 
So you get You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of shoes. All brand new. All size six. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Sexton. Oh, Sandra, don't put those prices in the chat, please. Thank you, Sandra. But yeah, don't want to break the rules. I'll get in trouble. Right, Sandy? Me too, honey. I'd have to arm wrestle you for them. Mm -hmm. They're all so comfortable looking. It's probably why she bought them in every color. Yep. You know, in different styles because she was all about comfort. But I mean, to buy so many pairs of shoes and not wear them. Right, Katie and says, don't make corporate tea. Come over here and get you. Well, Saxon, that's why we don't like comps in the chat because they're not always accurate. But yeah, out, says Saxton. <laughs> okay, Saxton, thank you so much. All right, it looks like it's going to Helen. Yep. All right, lot number six, six twenty one, Helen Fult. Eighty five dollars for the shoes. Sandra asks if they are leather. I believe they are all leather, okay? All leather. But you better hurry. If you're going to be, I just unclosed it in five seconds. They're all leather. And Helen says she has a gift certificate. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for letting me know. Gift certificate. Thank you, Helen. All right, off to the shipping room it goes. That's all right, Sandra.
That's right. Helen's first win. Wow, congrats. What's that? So that's Helen's first win. I think so, yeah. That's a nice one. Now these came from that collector that I bought. No, he wasn't a collector. He was an eBay seller. Um, and I bought his entire eBay store when he passed away. He's got, looks like one, two, three of those. We're going to look at them and see what they are. I have no idea what they are, but he's got three of these. One, two, three. Does anybody know what these are? And then he's got... Not put on the bottom? I'm going to look. They've got like soft bodies. Let me see if it says on the bottom. Kid Galaxy 2016. You said Kid Galaxy? Kid Galaxy 2016 is what they say. Everyone in chat, can you hear me okay? Is Donna just a lot louder than I am or am I just too quiet? We can hear you fine. Okay. Kid Galaxy. And they're big. They're not little. You said they're soft? Yeah, they're like soft bodied. Race or chase, friction, go and go. Yes, Katie Ann, if you can hear me. Yes, and we have Christmas next month also. Does everybody celebrate Christmas in July? Oh, he's not working on the tablecloth. Maybe he needs to be on the hard surface. Well, he works a little bit. Is that one that you pull back and let go? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're all like that. Thank you, Greg. Okay, so that's what you get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. You can see by my hand how big they are. They're they're pretty good size. They're not little. You get eight of these uh, push, pull, and go um, cars with a $30 start. I already started them at 25 Okay, that's fine. Do you have a um, Do you have a mic that you use? No, just the one that came with the camera. Yeah, that's why you hear. Me. Yeah, I that's why they hear me. Mic. Yeah, that's why they hear me so much louder because I have the um, exactly. I have the uh, the blue. What's it called? That mic. Um, Yeti. Yeti. Yeah. Yeah, the Yeti. Oh, thank you, Greg. I didn't know if I was going to be doing enough lives to warrant buying one. Right. Mine was a gift. I didn't buy it. I figure when T comes back, you'll just kick me off anyway. Never. <laughs> okay, Greg's the only one interested in the toy lot. Looks like it. I'm going to put it away. Give it to Mr. Greg. Thank you, Carl. I think, yeah, the guy goes up and down as it travels. Oh, yeah, it does. Yep. See? <laughs> yeah, see, if you pull back, see how the wheels spin? It's just not going, and he goes up and down. It doesn't like your tablecloth. No, it doesn't like the tablecloth. Yeah. Cute. Let 
nice big lot of trucks. I figured somebody would ask that question. Sold, 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 Mr. Busk. Okay. Thirty. One number seven. Okay, I'm going to do a lot of clothing next. going to put me on camera because I want them to see the clothing. And then I'm going to add this to the stream. That's the other camera. Okay. This one is a cute little summer dress. It's got pom-poms on the bottom. It is called Love Lily. It's probably a boutique. Okay, Carl. Um, it's probably a boutique brand because it's really high quality fabric. It's nice and it doesn't have a size on it, does it? Two. It's a size two. And these all came from the small woman's uh, estate? Yep. Yep. It's adorable. So that's a size two. This one mm. is... A size medium and it's Mark by Mark Jacobs. And it's a size medium and it's a short little dress. Little black dress by Mark Jacobs. Mark Japes Jacobs is one of my favorite designers. Um, this one is Belle Badly Mashika. And it's a size eight probably another boutique brand because it's it's really really well made it's beautiful the fabric on it is gorgeous and next we have j crew size two with the cargo pockets Army green, feels like linen. It's either linen or 100% cotton. It's a nice one. And next we have a J. Crew small t shirt, striped. Next we have J. Crew size four. It's a tunic with little velvet balls on it. I don't know if you can see them. It's uh, navy blue. In color. This one is, it's a Massimo. You know, I think I'm going to keep this one. It's, it's just a uh, Target brand anyways, but it's a large and that will fit me. It's a nice tank top. This one's a J Crew size 10. Little hound's tooth skirt. This one is J. Crew size small, little cotton sweater. Eric is asking J. Crew or J. Crew factory. J. Crew or J. Crew what? Factory. Um, it says authentic J. Crew. Just J. Crew. Is J. Crew Factory lesser of a brand? I have no idea. Or more of a brand? 
I don't think I've seen J. Crew the word factory on any of them. Yeah, she asked if there were diamonds on the label. Diamonds? <laughs> if it's got diamonds on the label, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen that J. Crew factory on any of them. This one's guess and it has diamonds. No joking. <laughs> okay. If it has factory, it's a lesser. It's a lesser? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't seen the word factory yet. Did you get some that say factory on them, Erica? Is that why you're asking? I don't know if she did or not, because she bought a big lot of clothes from me. And I sent her another big lot of clothes. So I don't know if she I don't know the difference, Erica. So I try to show the label. Guess stretch. This is uh, really cute. It's cotton. It's got kind of like the tuxedo front. Um, it's spotless. It's cute. It's got the nice buttons on the side there. It's a cute shirt. This one is... Calvin Klein, size large. It's a nice t-shirt. Calvin Klein, size large. No spots. Nice and clean. These are a pair of men's Nautica size large shorts. She says, I did. No factory word. Yeah, it doesn't say factory. They just have diamonds on the label. And that means it's from the, it is the factory. I don't know. I'll look for diamonds, Arica. So here's a pair of men's Nautica shorts. This one is called tan, Tantrums, Petite Small. This one did not come from the J. Crew people. My daughter put this lot together. This is a velvet embroidered vest, and it's called Tantrums, Petite Small. Or maybe it did. I don't know. This one is Jamaica Bay, size large. No, I don't think these did because she wouldn't have size large. Gap does the same thing. Hi, Karen. Doesn't your daughter like any of these? <laughs> she put this together, so she must have not picked any of them. <clears throat> um, next is Simply Vera. Vera Wang, size four. And they're um, like... Past the knee, above the ankle. They're hemmed, so I don't know if they're, if they're actually long. Oh, yeah, they're long. She just had them cuffed up, and they're not. Um, and are they stretch? I feel like they have a little bit of stretch in them. Okay, Kim, thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, this one is very vintage those of you that like to dabble in vintage clothing alan stewart alan stewart it's in gold and it's a men's feels like silk imported fabric size large and it feels like silk to me Washable or dry clean, 100% rayon. It's rayon. Um, Katie Ann, I don't know. It depends on how long I stay. I might be able, I might do another one. Um, this one is Daemon, another vintage one, 100%. D-U-R-E-N-E -E, cotton made in America, size large. It's an embroidered sweater. That also looks vintage. And this one is Old Navy, size large. It's a blazer with a pretty kind of like polka dot 
inside Old Navy. I think rayon is affordable silk, probably, right? Hey, Joyce, welcome in. This one is Paparal Studios, another vintage one, size medium. So there's a mix in here. That's a really cute top, nice quality. And lastly, we have this, which is cotton seed, size small. Cotton seed, size small. It's a cotton uh, drawstring waist little cotton seed, little number. It's cute. All right, I'll count how many pieces are in there. So there's... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my shoulder. Six, seven, eight, nine. Calvin Klein is 10, Gauss is 11, J. Crew is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. 19 pieces in this clothing line. And we have fancy picks in for 44. KD comes in at 46. Oh, Erica Beater. Erica Casey Beater at 46. Fancy's at 50. Fancy's out. Katie's in at 55. Erica's out. Katie's going to get it. For 55? Yeah, 55. I'm waiting on uh, Tim and Laura there for a second. They haven't responded. Katie Ann, just that pink dress alone is so adorable. You should be able to do well on this lot. I'm going to put a ponytail holder in my hair this time of day. It's brutal. AC set on 72. I mean, it's not even that sunny out today. <clears throat> Thank you, Katie Ann. Okay, let's do another piece of jewelry. This is what I have. Unicorn. 
Yeah, it's a silver unicorn. It's all silver. I'll weigh it for you. It's not solid, so it's not super, super heavy. Um, it weighs... Huh? I start at? Um, start at 25. 25. It weighs a 16.4 grams of silver. 16.4 grams of silver. And I'll show it to you up close. Nine two five. I'll measure the chain for you. Eight and a half. And the chain is really pretty. It's like a thick rope. And Katie Ann says she has a gift certificate also. Thank you, Katie Ann, yes. Wow, 91 of you here today. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for coming out and supporting me. And my goals, goals, goals. Big, huge thank you goes out to Schreiker. Giving up his afternoon to help me. I'll send it to you in this really pretty Nordstrom box. It's not a Nordstrom piece, but I have this box. Craig comes in for 42. The piece itself is um, it's good size. I mean, if you go from the hoof to the tail, it's almost three inches. If you just do like just the body without the tail, it's two inches. And about two and a half that way also. So yeah, it's a nice big piece. Who's winning it? Craig. Okay. 
certainly an interesting piece. It's going to be a gift for my sister. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Craig, I sent you um, an invoice. I don't know if you've had a chance to check your email, honey. I know you've been in the hospital, but um, you can check that for me. Unicorn. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations. It's a beautiful piece. I know that is so sweet. Like, she must love unicorns. Um, let's put this here. And let me look and see what's in here. I don't remember what's in here. Oh, yeah. This came from... Should I show that necklace again since we have 90 people in the chat? Yeah, not at that time. I think I'm going to show it, you guys. So I have this necklace. It is going to go to the jewelers, but I'm going to give you guys... Trigger, you're going to have to help me again. Okay. Um, Italian gold. It's Italian gold. 43.3 grams of 14K. I don't recall the link, but... It says... It just says 14... It just says 14 carat Italian, just says 14 carat Italian is all it says on it. And it's pretty thick. And I don't remember the, the length of it. Susan, are you still here? Do you remember the length? She's the one who had asked. Um, let's see what I did with my, um, but I thought I'd offer it up because they're going to give me scrap at the, jewelers maybe it's well, a beautiful at piece least, at, huh? least, at least scrap yeah they'll give me at least scrap spot price and right now that's at fourteen hundred and fifty dollars fourteen hundred and fifty dollars looks like 16 inch was it 16 thanks you guys um you can't use your gift certificate though because i have to i have to sell this i have to go out and go sell this so but it's it's a beautiful hunka hunka gorgeous 14 karat gold Italian choker. If anybody's interested, I thought I'd show it one more time. I showed it when we first came on live. So I thought I'd show it again. So it will go to the jewelers after I get off. Okay. Thanks, you guys. All right. So this one, yeah, it's so gorgeous, right? So this one is a ten dollar start, and it's a fourteen. It's a um, it's a um, nine two five clasp on it. And if there's any jewelry people in the chat, you can let me know. I have no idea if that's clay. It's not stone because it's not cold. I have no idea what this is. It did not come from JCPenney. I'm just using these boxes for display. If anybody has any idea, I can tell you that the storage unit this came out of, the woman also had a lot of this American West jewelry. Remember that American West jewelry? that came out of the same unit as the American West jewelry. So she spent a lot of money on her jewelry. So it's, Dale has a question about the gold, if it was tubular. So is it hollow inside? The gold, who asked that? Dale. Dale. Um, Dale, it's solid. Look. You have to use the other camera if you want to. Okay, hold on. Let's see, it's solid. It is just solid gold. Yep, that's all it is. It's not hollow. That looks like a ring for your finger. That's not what he was saying. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it is. 
it's it's a huge chunk. Yeah, it's a huge chunk of gold. So where do you want to start this bracelet off at? Ten. Whoa. And there's no dings, no nothing. It's just in perfect condition. Okay. So this is like, I have no idea what this is. I have no idea. It almost feels like it could be like plastic, but it's got a, it's got a 925 clasp on it. And it came out of a storage unit that the woman had really expensive things. So it's got to be something. Carol Ann, are you still on the chat? It only says 925, nothing else. That's it. It only says 925 on it. It doesn't say anything else. Mm -mm. No. There are little beads between the bigger ones, right? I'm saying that correctly. Yes. They're little spacers. Yeah. The little spacers. Caroline's here. Caroline, do you know what it do you know what this is? Navajo design, Dale says. I could see that. Aztec or something, maybe. Some pretty neat designs. Yeah, I don't know. Ten dollars start. Ten dollars start on that piece. If anybody wants that. African wooden trade bead, she says. Oh, oh, they could be like some sort of soft wood. I think. Fancy's going to go for it. Fancy? All right, Fancy. Let's give it to Fancy. I mean, if nothing else, it has some, some silver in it, right? So. What's that? It has silver in it, at least yeah. some. Polymer beads. Polymer beads. I don't know. Is that a flamingo plush behind you? Um, no, it's a dinosaur. No, Carl, do you want to look at it again? Hi, hi Joe. No, Carl. But Carl, the deal with the with the necklace, it's 14 karat Italian gold. It weighs 43.3 grams. 43.3 grams. And for scrap, I'm going to bring it to a jeweler. I'm not bringing it. Um, <laughs> Is it in the slot? <laughs> no, but I'll throw this in if you buy that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> hey, Joe, Popo's in the house. Um, Shaka, I know you've told me like three times. He did the math for me. What's what's the math on it? Uh, spot price would be fourteen fifty. Fourteen fifty, but you can't use your gift certificate because I just bid on a storage unit and I need the cash. And I don't even want you to send the money PayPal if somebody buys it for me because I'm going straight up to the um to the jewelers to sell it this afternoon. Hate to tell you my money my money problems, but I want this storage unit and it's gonna be hundreds of dollars. So I need to like sell it and get the money. I want the moolah. The moolah moolah moolah. 
So yeah, I'm gonna sell it straight up. Cause he'll he'll just dish out the Benjamins for me. I mean, a jeweler will buy that in a second. Oh yeah. He can turn around and resell it without even, there's not a scratch on it. It's like brand new. Not a dent, not a scratch, nothing. Thank you, Carl. Scrap it, a little over a grand. Scrap it, expect about 80% of that. Is that what you figured, Schreiker? No, uh, I'm, I'm saying I think you'll get the whole spot price for it with it being what it is. And yeah, well, if, they're a, if they're a jewelry shop, they'll sell it for double that, I'm sure. Well, this jeweler is is really like honest and straight up and very reputable. So let me put it to you this way. I brought a friend of mine to sell her diamond and this jeweler gave her $1,400 more than another jeweler that we would get, that we were going to for her diamond, 1,400. I'm not talking like 300 or 400, 1,400. That was, I was like blown away. And they've got such a good reputation in town. I know, right? Exactly, Carl. Sure. Scrap is, you know, if it was all scratched or broken or even if it was the clasp was broken on it, a jeweler would probably fix it because it's heavy. Looks like DZI beads. I have no idea, you guys, but I appreciate all of you that are doing some research on them. Painted beads. They wanted it to be nicer anyway. That's why they use the silver with them. So they're not just some cheap beads. No. Painted beads, I wouldn't think. Sterling spacers, yeah. Yeah, if they were cheap beads, they definitely wouldn't be using the silver. I'm still trying to learn how to maneuver this. There's definitely not enough lighting here either. But at least I got the phone further away from the um from the computer. That looks nice right there. So that those um let's see if this is too bright. Yeah, Joe, you know, we were counting on at least getting spot price, like you're saying there. So if he'll give more, I'd be surprised, but that'd be nice. Too bright, right? No, it's not bad, but it's sold now, so you can. Oh, it, it is? Okay. All right. I have to turn this off. This is like interrogation light. That's too much. I'm going to find something that's a little bit softer. This is a Chico's bracelet. It's Chico's and it says on it, follow your heart. It's an inspiration bracelet with all kinds of little charms. And it does say Chico here on the end. And I'm going to start this at 10. It says Chico's right there. Yep. And it has a collection of all different, that's a little, I think, a fish, maybe, 
or is that a t-shirt? What is that? Is that a fish? Yes, I would say it is. With some sort of amber colored glass to it. It's got a lizard. I don't know if lizards have anything to do with following your dreams. But yeah, it's a um, Chico's bracelet. Ten dollars start on that. Okay, let's see who bought this. Moni Love for twenty-two. Moni Love for twenty-two. And that was lot ten. That's lot ten. Ah, uh, yes, the length. Sure, Amy. Hold on one second. Um, this was the. I'm gonna call it. I'm just gonna call it Indian beads because I don't know what it is. Moni Love for 22? 22. Thank you. Ah, there's Kyle. Hello, Kyle. Yeah, they're all missing your your Mother's Day mug. They're they're missing what? Your Mother's Day mug. That used to be on the table. My Mother's Day. Oh, where is that? My daughter put it somewhere. Oh, I know where it is. It's she put it on the shelf. <laughs> she cleaned my desk. Hey, we have D for ten. Anybody else? She took it off my. Oh, they're waiting for a measurement on it. Oh, that's right. Mm, here's my ruler. Was that the original box it's in? Nope. It's I'm using the um the JC Penny boxes. The JC Penny boxes that no yeah. one bought. They look nice. Yeah. Eight and a half. Oh, so this is the Chinese symbol for peace, you guys, just so that you know. Hmm. Harmony. Discover. Oh, you're welcome, Amy. Thank you. My fifth grade teacher used one of those wood sticks. No, she didn't. Steve, you're about the same age as I am. They didn't use wooden sticks when we were growing up. I mean, yeah, they used them for like, you know, measuring things. <laughs> Sold, 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 Amy. 
Lot number 11, inspirational bracelet to Amy. That's her first one as well. Billings, congratulations, Amy, uh, $15. Okay, Amy, this is going to cost probably about $4 to ship out. Do you want to hold on to it for two or three days to see if you buy something else? Or do you want to pay the $4 shipping? If you want to pay the $4 shipping, just write the word shipping in the chat and I'll know and I'll send it out. If you want me to hold on to it for two or three days to get to $30, then I'll hold on to it. You got your butt beat many times by a ruler. Okay, she wants to hold on to it. All right, Amy, we'll hold on to it for you. All right. How about we do this as a one-off? You guys, if you want to see something specific, let me know. We're going to do another one of these little babies. I have another one. It's a gun. It's a peekaboo bear. Um, I'll put myself on the screen so you can see it in action. We'll do this as a $10 start. Hey, baby. Peekaboo is the most fun with you. <laughs> Where did you go? Peekaboo. I found you. <laughs> Where are you? Where am I? Where I am? Hi, Tiny Pie. Again, again. Let's keep playing. Hello, baby. Peekaboo is the most fun with you. <laughs> Where did you go? Peekaboo, I found you. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Tiny Pie. Where did you go? Peekaboo, <laughs> hello, baby. Hey, little K. Again, again. Let's keep playing. I love this little guy. I, I never get tired of it. I love it, love it, love it. Hello, baby. Peekaboo is the most fun with you. <laughs> Where did you go? Peekaboo, I found you. <laughs> Where am I? Green's out. Steve is out. Susie's in at 32. 34 for to little K. Where did you go? I found you. Susie's out. Looks like little K is gonna get it. Where did you go? Susie's Susie. Susie. out. Oh, there's she is. Yeah. Where are you? Yep, Susie's out. How long is still in? Again, again. Let's I love that he goes again, again. Okay. So this goes to little Kay's house. 
Thank you, little K. Lot number 12, $34, 621. I don't know if I mailed out her stuff. I think I did. I think I just sent it out on Saturday. Um, let's do this. Uh, before you continue, I wanted to clear up something back up here. Uh, Helen, whenever you type your bid into the chat, you're going to see your bid right away, but someone else may have bid in front of you. So you, you can't see that on your, on your computer, but other people can see who came in first. So it'll look like you did, even if you didn't. So you have to refresh your chat in order to see the real order. Yeah, you, const you should constantly, um, you guys, if you if I'm showing something that you're not interested in, take a moment to refresh and hit live chat. You should do that throughout because even if you don't think you're lagging, sometimes you're lagging a little bit. So, yeah, you want to well, definitely. Even if you're not lagging, if you bid at the same time, you know, you don't, it's going to look like you came in first if it's on your computer. So, uh oh, a bag. Yes, it's a leather bag. It's a Perry Ellis. Um, it has a um, pocket here in the front. The manufacturer's retail on it is 118. It's a leather crossbody bag um it's really beautiful i can give you the dimensions on it it's got the strap the adjustable strap on it it's nice and big very roomy it's beautiful um so it measures from top to bottom it measures 13 inches and from side to side it measures 12 and a half or so inch or inches and let's start this at 35. It was yeah. and it is black right not brown. it's black no nope, it's black um it's beautiful i love the outside pocket here it has the original price tag in it it's never been used it's definitely a great man's bag um definitely it's got spots inside to attach your keys mm -hmm. so they don't get lost in the bottom of the bag it's got um spots to put i don't know if you can see that pencils in it and then it has a great big, huge compartment in the middle. It's a Merce. It is, Susan. It's definitely a Merce. Does Perry Ellis even make women's clothing or anything? Isn't it all men's? Perry Ellis makes men and women's clothing. Oh. Both. Yeah. Yep, they make both. Yeah, not a scratch on it. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Susan comes in at 40.
I mean, it doesn't have to be for a man. Mm -hmm. It's definitely, you know, can be for a woman too. It's, it's just uh, great for college too. It's got the nice, it's got a nice pocket here on, on the other side too. Um, well, yeah, it's large enough for a, a, a pad, maybe yeah. not a, maybe not a full blown uh, laptop though. Um, maybe not for a laptop, but definitely a tablet will fit in there. Yeah, definitely a tablet will fit in here. There's the inside of it. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Susan. Cat D so well is the winner. And this is lot number 13. And Kat D bought it for 50. Sold, sold, sold. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here is a little Kate Spade bracelet. None of the diamonds are missing on it. None of the rhinestones. This is just going to be a little $10 start on that little Kate Spade. Bless her heart bracelet. It's got a little bow on it. Beautiful girl. May she rest in peace. That was so startling to everyone. Just, you know, when you think everybody's got it all together, you just never know what's in people's minds. Really sweet. Susan's gonna want it at ten. Kate Spade. Well, Thelma's in, but I'm not sure of that price. Oh, hey Thelma. Hi, honey. She needs to retype that price if that's right. That's a pretty big jump. Okay, thank you, Thelma. I don't know how to open up. I don't want to break up. Oh, it's got a real secure clasp on it. It's probably never been opened before. I don't know. I didn't even check to see if this was... 
Let me see. I'll let you know. Kate Spade, New York is what it says on it. It says Kate Spade, New York. I don't want to. I don't want to play with the clasp. It's probably never been opened. You're right, but that's the clasp on it. Seasons at 32. Oh, she was going for the free shipping, just being generous. Thank you, Thelma. You're so sweet. I thought maybe it was missing one of the ribbons, but it's not. It's got one ribbon at the bottom and then the other ribbons at the top. It's the way it's designed. Let's see, who's winning it? Susan. Susan. All right, Susan. For 32? No, Amy. Mm -mm, not, well, I'll be honest. I, I didn't test it, but it doesn't say it on there that it is. It just says Kate Spade. It's all it is. It just says Kate Spade. I don't know if it's sterling or not. I, I have not tested it. But I would think it would say 925 somewhere on it. I only see Kate Spade, New York. Unless it's somewhere on this ribbon, which I didn't look. Oh, it could be in the clasp area as well. Oh, it could be in the clasp area as well. And I don't know how to open it. It's pretty complicated. How to open I don't know why I can't figure it out. Oh, it's got a latch inside of it. I don't know how to open it. Because <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like complicated. Oh, I did it. I opened it. <laughs> I opened it. I opened it. All right, let me look in the clasp. I don't see anything. No, I don't see anything that says 925. All right, let's close it to Miss Susan for $32. No, I didn't, Dale. I promise you I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. And let's see, Kate Spade. We are calling it. You just got it. You got it, Susan. Just answering the question if it was nine two five because I didn't I didn't look at it. My fault. You guys, what do you want to see? Does anybody want to see anything special? Rock and roll albums, some comics, some more clothes, some DVDs, um, a stuffed animal lot, more shoes, some Vera Bradley, another animated toy. While you're thinking about it, let's listen to Elmo. This is so cute. I think he needs a battery because his mouth isn't working, but... Um, it's just like the mother goose, only it's it's Elmo telling the story. It's so stinking cute. Here, let me put him. Actually, let me do this one. Let me do this camera. Okay. <laughs> there he is. No. 
No. Hold on. Hold on, folks. I'll get it. There he is. Okay, should we just let him um, tell a story and then we'll take a five minute break? Oh, oh. you want to hear a nursery rhyme? Oh my God. Someone's got your job. A little lamb. Should I go? Was white and snow. I'm aware that Mary went and do. See how his head is moving? Yeah, he's just he probably lead. needs oh, stronger man, batteries. He follows you everywhere. Are you ready for another nursery rhyme? Uh, okay, maybe oh. later. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> I guess we didn't answer him. <laughs> oh, oh, do you want to hear a nursery rhyme? Elmo does. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Elmo wonders what you are. <laughs> that one makes Elmo sleepy. <laughs> are you ready for another nursery rhyme? What are you supposed to do? Yes? Hello? Yes? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Oh, just push the button. Humpty Dumpty had a great song. All the kings Ready to bid on it? With all the kings again. You can start him at 15. Poor Humpty. He's all cracked up. <laughs> Are you ready for another nursery rhyme? What is Amy saying do him this for? Is and why is that. why is Dale said can I can box. I can mute? Well, Amy yeah. wants to bid on him. And Dale doesn't like his voice. Dale doesn't like him. I'm a little line too. Rhyme, fine. They end in the same cell. Are you ready for another nursery rhyme? An itchy itchy spider called up the water spout. Down came the rain and rushed the I'll be nice. Like my ex wife. Oh my god, Dale. I know some women do have those like little mini mouse voices. Are you ready for another nursery round? How many has he told? Has he told this one yet? Is he told? Oh, no, a lot, four. right? <laughs> too many. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is, yeah, so that's, this is where he started. I love how he goes, twinkle, twinkle, little <laughs> star. <laughs> Are you ready for another nursery rhyme? No, I think that's enough, Elmo, for today. But thank you so much. We really appreciate you entertaining us. <laughs> okay, maybe later. Bye-bye. <laughs> he took my advice. Are you happy, Carl? He's gone. <laughs> the deluxe model does the Gettysburg address. Murray. <laughs> Murray is so funny. <laughs> he doesn't say much in the chat, right? But when he says this, it's funny. <laughs> That's hysterical. Gotta pick your moments. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. 
I thought that was really cute. <laughs> All right, little Martin's nest is in at 48 for the talking Elmo. Susie comes in at 50. She has to have them. They love the talking Elmo. I think he's absolutely stinking adorable. To be honest with you, I think he's cuter than the mother goose nursery rhyme one that I had. I love, I love that Elmo's voice. Sorry, Jill. <laughs> I think Elmo's voice is so adorable. <laughs> Holly, you be careful if you're driving, type in LOL in the chat. Little Martin's nest is out. Susie's going to get it for 50. Awesome. Thank you, Susie. Thank you so much. Appreciate the love and support you guys all give me. I really do. Okay, let's do, let's do, do, do. Um, let's do this back. This is a Juicy Couture. Oh, what's wrong with the back of this? I don't know what's wrong with the back of this. It looks like it's ripped. Uh, looks like it's disintegrating. Let me check the rest of it. No, the rest of it is fine. But the heart, okay. So it's velvet. It has, it looks like a little Scotty on it. Um, doing the scratch test on the handle. It's fine. It's brown velvet. That's fine. Um, let me take all this stuff out of it. I have it in there for displaying it on the shelf. It appears to be in brand new condition. Juicy couture, but this oh, it's on the Scotty, too. That's too bad. I can't sell this. See, look, it's like, well, I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's disintegrating. See how it's disintegrating, you guys? Always do that when you're out in the wild. And look, see the dog. Yeah, it's disintegrating. That's too bad because the rest of it is all in great condition. It's in great condition, even the bottom of it. It's got the Juicy Couture. Oh, well, that's not going to be any good for anyone. I mean, unless, unless somebody puts like a pretty pin right there and removes this heart and can use this as a um as a you know something to carry even to keep in the car to keep water bottles in um if you bought something from me today the first person to write me in the chat will get this with your order for free but it has to go out and combine shipping so it has to go out with someone who bought something today just write me it's a beautiful bag, brown velvet. It'll be a gift. Marilyn gets it. Of 
Well, but Marilyn didn't buy anything today. Nope, Marilyn, honey, you didn't buy anything today. Susie gets it. Sorry, sweetheart. Susie's going to get it. I'll do it again, Marilyn. You, you'll have another opportunity to win something. Okay. We'll send this to Susie's house. Okay. Let's do... Okay, this is just the album cover. There's no record in there. It's just the album cover. But somebody might want just the album cover. Put this up like this. So you get Led Zeppelin. $25 start. Cat Stevens. Mm -hmm. Blood Rock 2. I have no idea who this is. <laughs> Do you? No. I'm Blood Wind Pig. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. I have no idea. Are the rest complete with records? Yeah. Ted Nugent. The Beatles. Elvis. Thank you, Susan. This is pretty loved. It's the doors. No idea who this is. Shall we look? Do you know who it is, Shriker? I have an idea, but I'm not heart. getting out there. Huh? It's heart. It's heart. Heart, yeah. Yeah. It's heart. Glass, glass houses, Billy Joel. Saturday Night Fever. Grand Funk Live. The Rascals, Once Upon a Dream. Burgers and Hot Tuna. Who's that? <laughs> I've heard the name, but I couldn't tell you any songs. I, I don't know who it is either. I'm so bad at it. Chicago. That's a beautiful album cover right there. Love it. Is, that, is it embossed? <laughs> yeah, it's all embossed. Yeah. Really pretty. Um, Santana, Rod Stewart, the Doobie Brothers, Cheap Trick. Carl wants you to open up the Chicago. Okay, Doll, uh, Daryl Oates, and John. Daryl Hall and John Oates live. Hall and Oates. Little Feet. The Beach Boys. Bob Dylan. And Diana Ross and the Supremes. 
Okay, so Carl wants to see Chicago. Let's take a look at Chicago. Let me know if there's any other special requests, you guys. Mm, looks pretty good to me. And the other one. Don't know if that. Oh, Carl, it's got a big scratch on it. Big scratch on it. It doesn't. My finger doesn't. Um, like it doesn't stop my finger on it, but. It's a pretty big scratch on just one side. Oh my gosh, that's too bad. I don't know if it would affect the playing of it or not. And he also wants to see the Beatles. Hold on, let me see if it wipes off. You're gonna get my DNA now, Carl. Hold on, I've got disinfectant mites right here. I don't have to use my DNA. Let me see if it's just Nope, it's a scratch, Carl. So one of the one of the um, Chicago albums you guys has a scratch on it. Um. All right. What else does he want to see? Uh, the Beatles. The Beatles. The Beach Boys. Rascals. Winch Funk. Saturday Night Fever. Billy Joel. Heart. Doors, all this, the Beatles. Okay. Whoa. All right. The Beatles. Pretty good. A couple of little small scratches here and there. And it has a little scratch over here, too but my finger doesn't feel it. Boy, this album is so much thicker than the other ones. Yeah, I mean, they're not they're not flawless. I I wish they were, but they're not. <clears throat> Kyle is out. Donna, come on over. I am in the middle of cleaning. You can bring your wipes and help me, <laughs> Marilyn, right? Disinfecting wipes. I keep them right here by my desk and use them often. Oh, really? The big ones crack easily? All right, let's sell the albums. Who has the high bid on them? Uh, De Hewitt. De Hewitt? Yep. For a second. No, oh, Carl comes in at 45. Does the Saturday Night Fever have a book inside? Um, let me look. Carl knows his books. I mean, his records. Yep. I think it's clear back at the back. There's two records with their sleeves, but I don't see. What am I looking for? A book? A book, yep. No, there's no book. No, just the sleeves. He is Marilyn. No book.
Okay. Okay, Greg came in. This one looks perfect. This one has some light scratches on it. This side. Side three has some light scratches on it. And on side one, uh, definitely has some light scratches, no like major indentations. And this one has some light scratches on it. So they're not pristine. Definitely not pristine. They have light scratches. Oh, to Greg. Greg Lusk, 55 for the records. All right. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, D. Thank Hewitt. You. And Kyle Elliott. And Carl Elliott. Ay, ay, ay. And, and Green Vintage. Did you spell that right, Dale? Okay. How about we sell some coats? Okay, I'm gonna put myself on full screen. I'm gonna show you what I have. They're all gonna be a $15 start. This is the first one I have. It's a woman's, it's called Women Within. It's a 34 women's, 34. It's it's like a rain jacket. Um, now, are you doing buy it now, did you say? Or bid? Nope, I'm gonna start them all at $15. Okay. You're gonna do a bunch of them then? Yeah. I'm going to start them at $15 and I want to sell them quick. Okay. So this one is a huge size, 15. What brand is that one? This one's called Woman, Woman Within. Within. Yeah. And it's a beautiful kind of nylon-y. Rain jacket lined with a hood i'm going to do them quick so hey amy's interested amy's at 15. okay you guys gonna have to bid quick yep because i'm gonna i have one two three four five six seven eight of them i want to blow through so okay, we're I'm going gonna gonna to do, do a going once and then a sold. That's it. Yep, that's it. Going once and sold. Okay, it's sold. All right. Amy, $15. Blue coat. Okay. 
lot 17. All right, the next one is going to be Worthington. Worthington, size 16. It's a navy blue, like summer, fall, spring. Yeah, we're going to do them quick, Marilyn. Um, I want to just blow through these real quick. Size 16, navy blue. It comes to probably um, has the belt. It probably comes to three quarters down your leg. Three quarters down your leg. Number four, Greg. Lot number four for 100. Anybody interested for in this one for 15? No, we'll pass. Okay, let's pass it. Okay, we'll pass. The next one is a Jones in New York. It's a size large. It looks like it has a wool lining. It's red. And it is comes just just below the knee. Jones, New York. Oh, what's the size on that one? Large. Large. With a lining. This one's a large. It's beautiful. It's spotless. It feels like gabardine. It's a very, very beautiful coat. Yeah, it is. Greg comes in at 15. Anybody else? You're going to sell it to Greg? Got about 10 seconds. All right, it's going to be sold to Greg. Lot number 18 goes to Greg. $15, red coat. All right. The next one is a men's, it's called Special Blend um, Waterproof Technology Registered Trademark. And it Sorry. is a men's. It's a men's, size extra large. Special Blend, yep. Size extra large. With the hood that zips inside. In case you don't want to use it, it's got the zipper on it. Okay, Dawn is in first. Probably <clears throat> got 20. Amy's at 25. Look at the sleeves on it. It's got the elastic and then it's got the Velcro. Keep all the water out. Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice jacket. This is a beauty. 
and the material feels amazing. It's like really nice quality, really nice quality. The colors are nice too, the black, the gray, and the blue. Or at least at 30. Excellent condition. Okay. This is a good size too. Yeah, extra large is nice. Amy's out. Okay, we're going to go once. If you want in, get in. All right, 30. About 19. Harley Handler? Harley Handler. First win. You guys, let me know in the chat if you like this kind of um, style. I used to do a lot more of these. Did you used to watch me when I did this sort of stuff? I used to do it in my kitchen at home. I would do one-offs like this, just quick. Colin once and I would do it like by myself. It was crazy. It was it was good though. I mean it was fine. Um uh Cat D wants the Worthington if you want to sell it to her. What's that? The one that didn't sell the Worthington. Cat D wants it. Okay, Cat D, you can have it. Um let me know in the chat if you like this style. Um and if you want me to do more of this kind of style, because I know a lot of people are not um resellers okay let me put cat d is going to be number 20 on that coat number 20 cat d 15 dollars for the blue worthington and my marker is done and everybody went in for the first time just remember she will invoice you in the next few days so be checking your emails and your PayPal's. Uh, yeah, hard. What's an invoice? Okay. Next, let me just mark this. Susie says yes. Sandy says yes. It's more work for me to ship out like $15 items, you know, and then I have to hold on to them if it's not. Um, but I like to give everybody, let's see, this is lot number 20, Blue Worthington. I like to give everybody an opportunity because like I said, not everybody's a reseller. Some people just like to buy things, you know, want to support and two, you know, they just prefer to just sit and watch and buy stuff and not have to go out and buy it. Here's a beautiful coat. To me, it looks like it's, um, to me, it looks like it's vintage. It's called Dennis Basso. It's a three X. I'll look and see if it's man-made or if it's um, it's very long. I was going to do this in my living room so you guys could see. The next time I'll do it in my living room so you guys can see the whole. You can see how very long it is. It probably goes down to your ankles. Um, so definitely a woman's then. Yeah, this is a woman's. And it is a 3X. It's a 3X. It doesn't feel like it's... Um, real leather okay look melanie's in at 15. outer shell 100 percent polyester sandy's at 20. yeah yeah melanie's at 25. this is beautiful this is a beautiful yeah. jacket look how beautiful this jacket is yeah it looks nice yeah it's gorgeous oh my gosh it's so beautiful Really, really it's also beautiful. is a designer on QVC. It's a what? He's a designer on QVC. Oh, really? And um, 30. 
Oh, yeah. It's brand new. It's got the silica gels. I thought you were going to pull $20 bills out. I, <laughs> I would totally wear this coat. I love it. Yeah, it looks like you. It does? Yeah. <laughs> I totally would wear it. If I was going up north, this would be the coat that I would wear. It's so beautiful. And it feels so nice. It feels so nice. Yeah, next time I'm gonna set my camera up in my new living room, and I'll and I'll I'll have Angelina model them instead of me modeling them. She's a much better model than I am. <laughs> it is Susie. It's a beautiful coat. It really is. I love it. I absolutely love it. If this was real leather, it would be really heavy. It it looks like real leather. It's not, so it's a lot less you know weight to it because of it. So, yeah, it's like suede. It's beautiful. Okay, so that's going to go. Oh, God, you guys, I can't even, like, I'm hanging them up on the rack, and I just, even that coat hurts my shoulder to lift to hang up. All right, so this one is 21. And it's Dennis Basso. Okay, $5 increments, people coat oh it's up to 50 awesome you guys thank you it's so beautiful i gotta go find i gotta buy markers can you believe i have to buy markers again anybody else Sandy's a 50. Sandy, you're going to love it. It's so pretty. Well, Donna can probably answer that better than I can, Carl. Carl, she's doing great. She's shipping today. She sold some people, reached out to her, and ordered um, some of the mystery boxes. So she's shipping everything today. Um, I want it so badly, but I live in Florida. I know, Amy, right? Unless you go up north a lot to visit in the winter time. How often do we get to wear winter jackets down here? Maybe a week, two weeks we get cold. Um, so T is doing great. She's at her store with her husband. They're shipping the orders that she received over the weekend, some of the stuff that she sold. Um, they're leaving tomorrow morning to head back to Rhode, um, Long Island. And congratulations, Sandy. She's so happy. It's beautiful, honey. You're going to love it. She could use some more orders, though, so go click on her video and watch what she has. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's 519 in the afternoon. If anybody places an order now, she may not be able to get it out until um, they get back the stuff that she's showing. But... Um, she is going to try to come on with me a little bit while she's home, if she has time. She's really, I mean, she's she's got a lot of packing she still has to do, a lot of packing. Um, so that's how she is. She's good. She's, she's tired. She's hustling. She's working so hard, just trying to get life you know life is a little bit upside down for her right now and you know which is why I, and i know which is why i i told my family you're not going to see me for about a month and it's been over a month and i'm still here trying to organize and hustle okay the next one is a fila it's a beautiful men's green fila jacket like it's a size huh it looks like a 2X. No, it's an extra large. Just an XL, okay. Yeah, it's an extra large. Um, it's beautiful. It's green. Reminds me of like a hockey jacket. Nice big pockets in the front. It's all, um, it's got these things here so it tightens up at the waist. Drawstring. The drawstring. 
Um, it's in excellent condition. It has, um, it has these snaps here, so you can either wear it loose or you can snap it to keep the cold out. What else can I tell you about it? That's it. It's in great condition. Nice Fila jacket. Hi, Kelly. Hi, honey. How are you? I know, Carl. Yeah, moving does suck. Harley Handler's going to take it for $15. Fila. At least this way, people that's not interested in a particular one don't have to wait long to see another one. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Let's see. The next one is called, it's a 3X. It's black. It's got a hood. It's again, it's like a car coat. It's um, all lined inside. The lining does zip out. It's got black wool lining and the name on it is Gallery Women. And it's a 3X. And it's like a car coat, perfect for driving because it's not, you know, easy in and out. And it's got a nice hood. And you can see by the hood, the fabric, the type of fabric that it is. It's a beautiful, silky, very nice fabric. It's spotless. Excellent condition. This is a spring, summer, even winter, fall, all year round. You know, we do get, we do get cold nights sometimes in the summertime. So you could totally wear this without the without the lining in it <clears throat> or with the lining in it. You know, sometimes when it rains, it gets damp and kind of, you know, not so nice. This is a nice coat to throw on if you've got to, like, go run to the supermarket or something like that. Melanie's at 20. Yeah, I used to do these kinds of auctions all the time and, and people really liked them. And sometimes I would group together like, like when I got like big lots of clothes, I would group together like two shirts and a pair of pants of the same size and then just sell them like, you know, start them at like, you know, $10 or $15 and people, you know, could buy them for their own personal use and not for reselling. Some people bought them for reselling. I only get cold here in the air conditioning. Jill, I went to Publix the day before yesterday. I didn't even finish my shopping. I had to run out of there. Jill, I was so cold. They keep they keep the air conditioning in supermarkets here so high. It's ridiculous. Big Mama, there you are. She bought a gift certificate and never came back. But she came in too late. Melanie beat you at $25. Donna, you're funny. <laughs> Heat advisory in New York City. Oh no. Erica, she's going, she's going home to a heat advisory. Poor T. And she doesn't have any of her window air conditioners in, and she doesn't want to put them in because she's basically done in two weeks in that house. Oh, okay. Melanie. Lot 23 is Melanie. <clears throat> no. Is it Mel Melanie? Yeah. Yeah. Melanie. Melanie Greenfield. And we are sold, 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 sold. 
Lot number 23 for $25. What do you got about two more? What's up? You got two more to do? Three. Three more. Well, I mean, I have a lot more to do, but I just pulled out. Yeah, I just pulled out. I mean, we're going on three and a half hours. I just pulled out um, just these and hung these on. But I have a literally, uh, okay, this one's beautiful. All right, let's do this one first for the men. Is this one? Oh, that's a really, that's, that can be men or women. Okay, let's do this one. This one's an Izod. It's a 3X. It's big and tall. Big and tall men with the t with the tags. It doesn't give a price anywhere on it. It's a Izod Advantage Stretch 3X. It's a vest. And it is men's. Yeah, it says men's. Big and tall. 3X. Big and tall men. With the tags. With new with tags. 3XL. <clears throat> And it's kind of like um orangey red color. Yeah, burnt orange. Please send it with the silk shirts I won last week. Oh, I will, Melanie. Thank you, honey. That's awesome. I will. LC comes in at 15. The inside is fleece. It's a fleece color. It's a really pretty color. There's the back. Marilyn comes in at 17. And it's got two pockets on either side and then it has this zippered pocket here on the chest. No, Amy, that would be T. What's that? Long Island. Donna, I thought you were in Long Island. Are you not? No, Amy, I'm in South Florida. I'm in the Palm Beaches. T's on Long Island. Well, only for the next two weeks, and then she's going to be South Carolina. Her honey pie. He is tall. Yep. It says big and tall on it. Nice and long. For big and tall men. The color is really pretty, too. I love this color. Makes you think of fall. Yeah. But pretty for the summer, too. Even with the t-shirt underneath it. So pretty. Or in the wintertime with a black turtleneck. It's nice. LC's at 30, Marilyn's at 32. But Marilyn, I only <laughs> wear size extra large. Oh, Greg and Marilyn got something going on. <laughs> Elsie's out. Marilyn's at 32. Thank you, Elsie. Thank you. I'll bring more, honey. I promise. Marilyn Blatt. 32. I know, right, Sandy? Busted. All right. Maybe I should pick like one day a week when I do this style auction, like during the day. We could probably go through a hundred lots if you wanted to line them up. I know, right? And maybe have two of the girls doing alternating back and forth. Then we could go really fast. 
Yeah, and I probably will set up the camera in the living room instead of like, and just because it will be easier to just be standing up doing this. All right, you guys, this is awesome. This is a lens, and I would wear this. This is like my kind of jacket. I love this style jacket. Um, it's a size large, 42, 44. So it's really intended to be a men's, but this is definitely my style jacket. It's awesome. It even has a hook to hang up the jacket. It's um, in perfect, perfect, perfect condition. It's a great venue. My living room? <laughs> is that what she's saying? <laughs> No, just likes the style going for Oh, you like the style? Oh, good, Amy. Awesome. I mean, I can do this with uh, clothing, one-offs, whatever. But this is this is beautiful, you guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful lens and um, all wool-lined, um, fleece-lined, excuse me, size large, 42, 44. Beautiful jacket. I'm glad they like it, but it's very hectic for the mod. What's that? It's very hectic for mods. Going oh, to do it to do it this fast? Yeah. Well, Shriker, I appreciate you being here, but you know, no obligation. I mean, just because I'm a crazy lady doesn't mean you have to be a crazy man. Yeah, Jenny, <laughs> uh, just coats for the moment. Just I have um, one more coat to do, and yeah, I think. Um, I don't know. I might do a plush lot. We'll see. Big Mum is at 32. Frank Perez is out. Um, Amy comes in at 34. Big Mama is out. Amy Billings is going to get this for $34. This is beautiful. This is like a $200 jacket, you guys. And it's brand new. I mean, it doesn't have tags on it, but it's like brand new. But if you had to buy it, that's a great deal. Well, I think this style probably keeps more people interested seeing a lot of product. They don't have to wait very long to get to something they might be interested in. Yeah, it was, it, it, I always, um, it's, it was successful, but it's just, it's a lot more work for me. It's easier to ship out hundred dollar lots than, you know, 15 or $20 coats. Cause you have to go through the same motions. Okay, here is a beautiful woman's double-breasted, formal-looking, it's called Gallery. It's a size 14, and it goes down to my ankles. And again, it feels like gabardine. Um, it's all lined inside, size 14. Beautiful. Um, jacket. Gift for my dad. Oh, is it Amy? He's going to love it. He's going to absolutely love that coat. Donna, we got my lot of beanies. Love them. Thank you, sweetie. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, yay. I'm so glad you got them. I can fill more orders of Beanie Babies, you guys. So we'll throw that out there too. 
Cat D comes in at 15. Greg comes in at 15. Bunch of kittens. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't put it together. My daughter did. I just told her that you loved that you loved cats. So. Greg is out. Cat D. Deborah Reed. Hello, Deborah. Deborah Reed comes in. Oh, Elizabeth, you're so sweet. Anthony, hello, sweetheart. Good morning. I know Christine B said that um, she wasn't getting notifications from my lives either. You guys, maybe you want to like subscribe and unsubscribe. Sometimes you have to do that. Cat D's at 24. Cat D is at 30. It's a beautiful jacket, guys. Very beautiful. Cat D corner. <laughs> Anthony, you must be so busy right now at this time of year. Everybody cleaning up their yards, getting getting their yards ready for the summertime. Yeah, try that, Amy. Yeah, I'm, subs I'm subscribing, then subscribe. Sold, sold, sold. <laughs> Lot number 26. All right. And that is the end of the coats for today. But I will have more next time because I can see that you guys really like them. So um, I'll, I'll set some more up on the hangers and show more next time. I come on and maybe we'll pick a day where I just do stuff like that. All right. Have, have you had enough, my friend? Oh, I'm keep going. You're on 26 done. So show, oh, those, uh, show those beanie babies. Huh? You got a bunch of those beanie babies still. Show, show a lot of those. So I can do, what was, what was it? 45 beanie babies for 50 Dollars. No, I thought there was more 50 beanie babies for $45. I thought there was more beanie babies than it was dollars. But oh, it was. Wasn't it? Yeah. Marilyn's like jewels. Shopa Holly says, keep going. If I keep going, are you sure you want to stay on and keep going? Don't you have things that you well, might need to get done? We can done? do 30 minutes. We can do the, go to four hours. 45 for 50. 45 for 50. Anybody want to give me an order for assorted Beanie Babies? Look, I'm going to show you. I told my daughter she has to change change the look. You see this right there? See that? Oh, that that's, that's over in the kitchen, though, right? That's, so that's between the kitchen and the living room. So when at. we cleared out to make the, the living room, we took a lot of the merchandise and we brought it into the dining room. And I told my daughter that I... I told her that's got to go because I feel too like it's like right on top of me. Okay. So I'm going to sell them. 50 Beanie Babies for $45. If anybody's interested in them. And I can tell you one person reached out to me and said that they sold one Beanie Baby for 10 bucks right away on eBay. One of them. Isn't that crazy? They're, they're coming back, I guess. 
And I'm doing 50, 50 for 45. Yeah. No, it was 45, 45 million for 50 beanie babies. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, somebody will get a deal today. Get 50 beanie babies for $45. How about that? Yeah, we could do 50. We could do 50 for 45. Initial offer today only. Who wants, who, yeah, who wants an order? 50 beanie babies for $45. Don't fight over them. <laughs> Greg hasn't received his yet. Probably not, Greg. I got a bunch of stuff I got to send out to you. But they're coming. It's Wait a minute. Way. Okay, fancy pants. No, Greg. Greg, you must. Greg, you must. Uh, it, maybe it'll be there today or tomorrow. I sent out yours. You were the you were the one who started this whole thing. So you're, remember? He was the one who started the whole thing because he said sold right away. And then I kept adding and adding and adding. Yeah, no, Greg, honey, you guys went out. They're probably in transit. And I'm sure I sent you um tracking number. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. So Alfredo, you want to take one? So 27. Hold on. Okay, Alfredo. 27 goes to Alfredo. Uh, I got 27 is fancy. Let's go the other way with that. Okay, I'll do fancy so we stay on the same page. Right. We'll do fancy for 27. Um, so it's going to be $50 for 50 beanies, right? Oh, $45 for 50 beanies. Oh, okay. $45 for 50 beanies. And Alfredo will be lot number 28. Alfredo. 50 beanies for $45. Anybody else? KP. KP. Gift certificate. Yes. Thank you. Got you, KP. Thank you, honey. T, you're backwards with Donna. <laughs> it's not T. You're so. We funny. need one more to get to lot 30. One more, one more. You read a lot of books. You read a lot of books, Striker. Well, Come until on. this year. I haven't done a lot of reading this year. Sandy, um, I didn't count them, but I'm going to guess. Like, wait, how many do I have or how many do I have left? How many did you start with? How many did I start with? Like maybe thirty five hundred. How many totes did you have to start with? Um, it was my entire truck full. Plus, I have to go back and get more. Wow. Okay, Murray's gonna take one. Lisa, you still looking for an invoice tomorrow, honey? Elizabeth's like 14 million. <laughs> Murray wants one? Yep. Lot 30. Thank you, Murray. So now you're going to get some doubles, you guys, of some, okay? Certificate. Awesome. You might get like three or four of the same one. So if you're a reseller, that's really good because you just list one and then the other one, you know. 50 beanies. All right, Junebug's going to take one. Junebug! And no gift certificate again, Junebug. You're awesome. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Junebug. Oh, no, Dale, it's not a record. It was just something to shoot for. What's that? Uh, 30 lots. No problem. I don't want to break up any families. Is 
30 lots a record? Is 30 lots a record? What's he saying? Uh, selling 30 lots. Was that, is that a record for you? I said, no. No. No, I've stayed on, <clears throat> so that's 31. No, I've stayed on like five hours and have sold a lot. Okay, let's do um, let's do a plush lot. I got an awesome plush lot sitting right here for you plush lot sellers. I'm gonna put this camera on and do. No, I don't want that camera. I want this camera. I want that camera. You're doing plush. Okay. This is lot number 32. So let's see. The first ones that you're going to get is a little uh, poo with flowers. Did they turn? Did they turn poo into a girl? Little eggs, little Easter eggs in his basket. I mean, what's up with Pooh with so cute though? I don't know. And then here is uh, just an Easter special. How about that? Probably Eeyore. Hey, look at that. Fourth of July is coming. Detachable tail and happy Fourth of July. doesn't work you guys will have to fiddle with it see if you can get it to work and then we have this little um she's i don't know a little disney princess i don't know what she's from i don't think i've ever seen her i have no idea i don't know the newer disney stuff And then we have this Disney, but I don't know who he's from either, but he's a big Disney lion. So she is from Doc McStuffins. Oh, is she? Okay, this one's a little creepy. I mean, uh, yeah, don't know what's going on with this guy, but he's um, he's probably worth a lot of money. You're going to have to find him because he doesn't, his tag was cut off. So you're going to have to do research. Banana monkey with teeth, plastic face. He's got plastic face and plastic ears. So he's definitely vintage. He is like, yikes is right. A unibrow, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Jill, you're right. I do love this. This is my favorite part, showing the plush. It makes me so happy. I do. I love showing the plush. Okay. Here's a Sea World. Oh, yeah. Jenny got that dinosaur with the teeth. I remember him. Oh, who got it? Oh, Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she did. And then here's another one. He's definitely vintage too. You can tell by the tag that he's vintage. Um, you'll have to look him up, but he's another monkey. And then who's this guy again? Is that Simba? Is that Simba, you guys? Okay, you get one, two, that one looks much more like him than that first one does, three, Nala. oh, it's Nala, 
four. We'll get a whole collection of them. And then we're going back to a monkey. This is an Aurora monkey, and it's also vintage. He's a cute monkey, unlike that other one that was scary looking. There's a monkey. And then, is this one Lion King? I don't know. I don't know that era. My kids are already grown. Here is a Build-A-Bear. Spider-Man. Yeah, I thought that certainly had to have something to do with Spider-Man with all the, that webbing on him. Yep. He's a Build-A-Bear Spider-Man. Here is a Snoopy. His smile has come unstitched a little bit here, so you're going to have to work with that and put it back on. On this side, it's fine but that side it's ripped, but he's like a gesture, Snoopy gesture. Let's move everybody over, put him in the screen. Let's see if I can lift this up a little bit more. And here we have a vintage Warner Brothers Tasmanian Devil. He's an actual Warner Brothers Tasmanian Devil. And then, I don't know, this is just a cute little, I don't know what she is. But you'll have to look her up. I was going to put her in a dog lot, but I decided she's really cute. Maybe somebody can research her and find out who she is because she's she is really cute. Speaking of dog lots, we can offer the dog lots too. Um, okay. and Same this price. one, the black dog, the black dog, I'm pretty sure is in, um, yeah, it is Martha's Vineyard. Yep. It's in Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. It's a restaurant and there, and there's your black dog souvenir dog. You can't even see him. He's so black, but it's a black dog, Martha's Vineyard. And... Here is a dinosaur. There's too many. I think I put too many in the slot. There's a dinosaur. All right, Taz, you stay. And um, here is another really awesome monkey. It says on it, Jag Plush, and he's definitely vintage. He's a Jag Plush vintage monkey. Lots of monkey collectors out there, guys. And he's got um, Velcro on his. Um, yeah, show him a little better. We can't hardly see him. All right. That white thing's kind of in the way there in the front. That yeah. eyeball staring at you? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, big arms. Long arms. He's awesome. That's a neck hugger, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's really awesome. He's an awesome monkey. He's beautiful. He's so cute. He's adorable. And finally, we have a SeaWorld penguin. And he's awesome, too. And that's the whole lot. That's a lot of plush. That's a ton of plush right there. Holly's at 42. He's seen other crack muffies. What are you talking about, Elizabeth? <laughs> Helen Holtz comes in at 44. Uh, Jenny was in first. Oh, I see that. Yeah. 
Amy Billings comes in at 46. For those of you that are uh, new to the channel, plush was my, probably my number, well, it was probably like my number two favorite thing. I used to love to sell perfume, but when I had my eBay store, I had, I, I would, I would say, well, the majority of my listings were all plush. I had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces of plush. I loved photographing them. I loved caring for them. I loved, uh, like, you know, cleaning them up. I have old videos on how I used to um, take care of them before I photographed them. I should make some new videos in my spare time. But I love selling plush. I mean, one piece like this could go for 50 bucks. I mean, especially if he's rare and people can't find him. I'm not saying he's worth $50. I'm just saying one piece could sell. I mean, when you sell one piece of plush for like $25, $30, $40, it's like, oh my gosh. And people buy plush for all different reasons. I mean, I had a guy buy a Tasmanian devil from me once because he wanted to attach it to the front of his pickup truck. That's what he was doing with the Tasmanian devil. He was going to zip tie him to the front of his pickup truck. I've like, seen a few vehicles like that. Yeah. You have? Oh, yeah. And he paid a lot of money for it, too. I'm like, yeah. it's going to get ruined. He's like, I've always had a Tasmanian devil. He told me in my in the um i've always had a tasmanian devil zip tied to my grill in the front of my truck and i need a new one thank you for having it i'm like okay I'm like it's gonna get ruined <clears throat> with the elements people buy them for just so, all different reasons just pulled out three more toys from my last dog lot Ooh, amy did you like valuable ones I love when they tell me that. So you guys, while they're bidding on this one, I have what I call my dog lots. And my dog lots, I sell them for $18. It costs me $10 to ship them to you. So I make I make very little money. Um, and what it is, it's my plush that may have like a missing eyeball or like I would never like something like this, like with Snoopy, I would never put that Snoopy in a dog lot just because of the, because of the, um, the smile is, is falling, but, um, uh, may have a little hole in it or it may be dirty. Um, so I call them my dog lots because they're great for, for animals, you know, for I mean, stuffed animals in the pet store cost so much money. So I sell you a big, huge ball of stuffed animals for $18 shipped. Um, and some people find treasures in there and some people just give them to their dogs. All right, Holly's at 65, Helen's out. Flush lot to Holly. 65. Great deal, Holly. Okay, is there anybody that is interested in a dog lot? $18 for as many, I usually send like an 18 by 18 inch ball. And I can't say how many pieces go into it because if they're little ones, you get a lot. If they're bigger ones, you don't get so many. So it's just a mix for the dog lots, $18. $18. Holly, you're going to have to let us know how you, how you make out with that crazy monkey with the teeth. I think that he's something, so, something special. Definitely something special.
Right. Okay, and, she's always got them, so just. Yes, I always have them. I get stuffed animals by the pallet, so I only pick out the best of the best to bring to you guys, and then the rest I sell off as dog lots. Mm. Okay. Let me just mark that one. That was lot number 32. Let's see if anybody is interested in a power planner. Briefcase agenda. I'll open it up and show it to you in one second. Great, let's see what's in here. Just found this in the back room. It's called a power planner. So it's a little briefcase. And it doesn't smell like leather. Let's see what it says. Probably has to charge. Can we do ten dollars? Weekly planner. That's pretty cool. It says how you pronounce it in all different languages. What year is that? Two thousand three. Two thousand two. Two thousand two. Two thousand three. Gonna but need some new pages. <laughs> yeah, but the daily planner doesn't have the dates filled in. So you fill in your own dates. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you can just fill in all your own. So just what do you the, need to start it at? Ten bucks. Ten dollars. Ten dollars for the organizer power planner. Let's see what it says on the box. It says agenda, phone address, notepad, pouch, credit card holder, ID window, file pockets, pens, calculator. Available in black and brown. You have brown? No. It is black. No, this one's brown, sorry. Yeah, brown. Yeah, this one's brown. For the power planner, you guys. If anybody's interested in the power planner. Okay, how about if we do this? The first person to write goals gets it for free. Goals, goals, goals. Just one goal though, just one goal. Who's gonna get the power planner for free? Goals, goals, goals. Erica, Casey. Oh wait 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 no 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 fancy pinks was it was it fancy yeah it's fancy it's fancy fancy gets it fancy it's perfect for you for school sorry Erica I saw you come up and then it it just blinked and then it was fancy yeah well, uh, all of a sudden <laughs> huh? it all happened all at one time I know I know I know. All right, Fancy gets it for free. Yay, Fancy. Okay. How about this lot? Whoopsie. Okay. This is, let me see how I can put it so I can show you guys. How the, how's that? Where are we so gonna start? It's all baby yarn. It's yellow, pink, 
green and blue. Um, some of them are just red heart, just basic. It's all little tiny baby yarn though. Beautiful to make a baby blanket for anybody who crochets or anybody know anybody who crochets or if you want to post them on eBay. Um, most of them are complete. This one even comes with a bonus knitting needle in it. Crochet hook. Um, this one is Bernard. So what's, I, I usually say this about this yarn, this discontinued yarn. Um, sometimes people will start a project and they will turn to um, YouTube to try to find the color lot um, because a lot of times they discontinue the color lot and people can't find it. So I would like to start this entire lot of yarn at $25. Oh, did it, Denise? Her internet shut down twice. $25 for the, for the yarn lot, um, if there's any interest. You get yellow, pink, green, and blue. This is, believe it or not, it's green. There you go. I think everyone's falling asleep. I know. Well, they've been here for a long time. A lot of people have been here for a really long time. We'll wait until next month. If they think this was a long time. Right. Amy Billings wants to come in at 25. All right, Amy. You got it, honey. Anybody else? Or should we close it to Amy? All right, let's call it. He's at 27. Oh, geez. How are you saying Amy's last name? <laughs> oh, I said Billings. Yeah. It's Biller. <laughs> I see it as Billings. Isn't that funny? It's Biller. I made it up myself. <laughs> right. That's so funny. That's hysterical. Mimi wants to know what's next month. So next month, it's still in the makings. We're still talking about how we plan on doing it, how we're going to invite people, um, presenters, hosts. We're not sure, but we're doing uh, Christmas in July. But it's all going to depend on tea schedule. Um, so it's a little bit too early to talk about it, but we are trying to plan something. Um, in the past, we've done uh, like a 24-hour marathon where we've stayed on 24 hours. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that this time. We're gonna we're gonna see. We're still in the we're still in the planning stages of it. And we both have so much. Yeah, Christmas in July marathon. Yeah. All right, so this lot 34 is the yarn and it's going to D's collections. Yep, D. Yeah, so we try to bring a lot of Christmas stuff, Christmas ornaments and Christmas items, winter items, coats and hats and gloves and um, anything that's like kind of wintry related. Lot 34. Is going to D's. There's Laura. Did I hear marathon? <laughs> yes, Laura. Hello, Laura. Hello, hello. Oh, 
we shall have some really nice spears ready to sell. So this is lot number 34 and it sold for $34. Oh, <laughs> $35. <laughs> oh, $35? Yeah. 34, 34, you know. Did you, is it 34 or 35? It's $35. It's lot 34 for $35. Okay. You know, four hours. What do you expect? No, no, no. I wasn't, I wasn't saying it. I just, it doesn't matter. You know, the dollar doesn't matter to me. Trust me. I just was like, oh my God, it's 34, 34. Yeah. Is what I was saying. All right. This is lot number 35. And we're four hours and six minutes into it. And it's going to be, it's going to be a biggie. I'm going out with a bang. Okay. Last yeah. Last call, you guys. Last call. All right. We're going to do this Vera Bradley pocketbook. And we're going to do this Vera Bradley pocketbook. And then we're gonna do this plush. He doesn't have a tag on him, but he's beautiful. I don't know where he's from. Or you wanna start it at? 30. $30. We're gonna do that. Tags and one doll, one plush. We're gonna do this plush. Two plush. What kind of dog is that? We're gonna do this plush. We're going to do this plush and that one and this one and that one. That's a cat, Holly, that tall one. Yeah, okay. This came out of the same um, unit that I got the that Navajo Indian um, thing. I don't know what it is. It's well, it's a pendant. It's a sterling silver pendant. It looks like maybe an Indian working. I don't know, it's a, but it's a sterling silver pendant. And it came in this pouch. With that information in this beautiful box. So you're going to get that. Hold on, I'm looking. I'm looking around. This is going to be a crazy double lot. Yeah, it's just a combination of stuff. You're going to get some clothing. This is a boutique brand, Skinny Dip at Palm Beach. I don't see a price on it. And what is it? It's a long sleeve. It's probably like, it's like a water shirt. Hi-ho. Brand new with tags. Oh, wait. How nice. And here's the bottoms. It's called Skinny Dip Palm Beach. Let me turn this off. See that? Maybe and a local designer. Size medium. See, so it's the bottom and the top. It's the pants. It's the pants and the bottom. Brand new with tags. And this one. Yes, Amy, it's a dibble now. Yes, it's a dibble. It's a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. Hold on, I need to move this stuff.
It's Mario. And then there's some Holy Bibles. There's this one. And then there's this one. We got two Holy Bibles in that lot. You get a brass rocking horse, solid brass rocking horse. And then you get this brass elephant with hooks with a bell on his trunk. You get two of these. They're called purse organizers, my easy bag. So this is like a bag that slips inside of your pocketbook so that you can organize all of your things. My easy bag. As a matter of fact, if anybody ordered anything from me today and that I can include that in an order, I would sell those for... Um, four dollars each but we'll talk about that in a minute and that can include it in your order how about a sony watchman dolphins i should have looked that up i bet you that's, that's a good piece right there i know i should have looked that up right before i brought it yeah. <laughs> anything that's old sony is is pretty valuable if the antenna is all intact and everything, oh boy. Okay, you get that. Um, let's see what else can I include. Um, Don't really know what this is. Angels of the world be created by Laszlo is Panky, Katie of Hungary, 1989. I'm not really sure what that is. You guys will have to look that up. It's a devil, folks. It's a devil. These LED lights, you're going to get one, two, three, four, and five. And speaking of light bulbs, has anybody noticed the price of light bulbs lately? I went to buy some light bulbs and nearly fell off my ankles. Why are light bulbs so darn expensive?
I'm going to put in two of these seatbelt extenders are going to go in it. And then this here, handcrafted from Ireland, little leprechaun bottle opener. And that's it, folks. Two Vera Bradleys, a bunch of stuffed animals, the Sony Watchmen, some Bibles, some new clothes, the pocketbook organizers, seatbelt, the light bulbs, and a bunch of other stuff. And a bunch of other stuff. All right, you better pull those Vera Bradleys out and show them a little better. All right. Here's that one. That's like a tote. Do they still have their tags on them? These do not. But they're like brand new. Nothing. That's a big old pile of stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. All right, I'm going to put this in it too. Oops. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> the, the, the metal. The medallion, when I went to flip it around, I wanted to show you that it's 925. It doesn't focus on this camera, it fell off, it fell off the necklace. Let me see if the, let me see if the clasp says 925 too. Yes, this says 925 on it. And that says 925 on it, but it just fell off. So the link isn't soldered together then? Huh? No. On it. Yeah. Let me see if I can do this with my um, Donna loop. Put it back together. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see that. Good one. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it in here and let you guys deal with I'm not I don't know what kind of stone that is but I'm just going to put it in there and let you guys deal with getting that back together if that's okay with you I'm going to throw this in there too an elephant yeah. yeah on on a cord it's an elephant on a cord you know they call it the animal fetish stuff and i'm gonna put that in here as well These boxes are going to be gone before I know it. Yeah, you only have 30 to start with. Or 35. What was 35, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't remember. All right. Got to run. Thank you, Frank. Thank you for being here with us all day. Thank you, sweetheart. Heather is out. Kay Brogan. Looks like she's going to be the winner to this huge shopping carriage full of stuff. Not yet. Who else is in there? Oh, Christina. Hey, Christina. I didn't see Christina. Mm -hmm. 
Christina, Christina, Christina. So you get Sterling, you get the, the Sony Watchmen, you get the two old Bibles, you get all of the, the uh, Mario stuff, you get all those plush, all those stuffed animals, the purse organizers, the cute little Minnie and Mickey Easter plush. What was that thing in that little box on the right side, clear at the bottom? Is that another piece of jewelry? I can't remember. This? No, no, no. Keep going down over there on the right side. It was in a little baggie in the box. Yeah. That's no. the leprechaun. Oh, the baggie. Yes, that's that's right. This is What's another. Right? This is another piece of sterling. Yeah, this is another piece of sterling in here. It has um, this paperwork. There's the designer. Yeah. And then this is the pendant. Oh, okay. I didn't see it the first time. Yeah, it's sterling silver. And it says on it... That's his name, P-E-N-A, Pena. Yep, that's his name. He signed the Sterling piece. <laughs> Shelly, <laughs> the Mickey and Minnie could have been two offs <laughs> instead of one offs. That's so funny. Yeah, that's his, um, that's his piece. That's his pamphlet and This is the pouch that it came in. On the box. This is really beautiful too. Hi-ho. That's one you just wore over your swimming suit? I think so. Skinny Dip Palm Beach. I think it's that fabric that you can like go swimming in, but you know, protects you from like the sun and stuff. Mm. You have to, um, sun trek. I have to do some research on it, but if it is, this is this is a nice item. A lot of people are afraid of the sun. This is a I bet that's a nice brand. Okay, K Brogan's at one set dries quick, right, Shelly? That's what I'm thinking. It's that kind of fabric that dries quick and you can actually like go in the swimming pool with it and it protects you from UV and stuff. That's it. Bill Collins' greatest hits. What is that of? I don't know. I haven't even looked at it. I pulled it out of the same lot that I found this morning with that um, beautiful Indian thing and those Indian beads. Oh. What's it say on it? I got to look. Hold on. I'll tell you what it says. <sighs> Industria Peruna, 925. Okay. I thought it looked like 925 on the bottom there. Industria Peruna. Right. And let's see if I can get you guys to get a good look at it. Let me see if I do it this way. What is that? 
Chilean or Peruvian or something from Peru? I don't know. Okay, we're going to call it down. Some sort of pin, some sort of sterling silver pin. That could be all your money, just that one little thing right there. All right, let's call it down. Kay Brogan is out. Christina is in. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy lot, Erica. It's everything from new clothes to Vera Bradley to plush to all kinds of jewelry. And yeah, it's a fair, it's a fair warning though. And we are at, what is it? 180? 180 to Christina. For the devil. Okay, 185. so let me put myself on. That's 35 lots and four and a half hours. Shriker's a trooper. He is definitely a trooper. I can't believe you sat here with me for four and a half hours. Well, we started <laughs> You're crazy. Talking about three and a half, and I said, okay, well, let's go for four. Now we're at four and a half. <laughs> My God, I was going to do two hours. I was going to do two hours. Oh, yeah, thanks, Carl. Fun. Before you guys leave, I wanted to offer you these bag organizers. Anybody who bought from me today or yesterday or has an order going out even for last week. If anybody wants one of these for four, $4, my easy bag, a purse organizer, that's what they're called. You pop it in your bag and it's got all of the different compartments. You've seen these like as seen on TV type ones, but I don't think this one is the as seen on TV. I think that this one is um, probably a knockoff of the as seen on TV. Um, let me show it to you. So, yeah, so, so it, it just kind of sits inside your purse and like you can, you know, put your cell phone and your wallet and, you know, whatever else in it. So, um, just write me in the chat. If you want one of these, I'll charge you $4 for it and I'll send it along with your orders. And don't fight over them. Whatever you do. Don't fight over them. Anybody? 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 Shh. Nobody wants one. I'm going to have to do them as giveaways. Amy, Amy wants one. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Not my dooney. You should. If, if anybody should get one, it should be you for your dooney to protect it. That's, Are you, yeah. that's why people use them to protect their purses from getting, you know, um, you know, uh oh, crickets, <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. Okay. Amy's going to take one. Anybody else? Come on, you guys. This is like really embarrassing. If like other people are watching right now, like other shows, this is, she's going to be like, they're going to be like, did you see her at the end of the show? She only sold 35 lots and then she's trying to sell those stupid purse things for $4, for $4 and nobody wanted them for four dollars $4. I think Carl wants them all though. <laughs> Carl wants the whole lot. If you tell him how many you got, he might. I don't know how many I have. I'll have to count them. Yeah, is it more than 10? Oh, I got more than 10. Are you more kidding? 50? 
Uh, probably 50, maybe 60, go. maybe 72. Okay. Was it, I think it was a half, was it a half a gross? I'll have to count them. Donna, I would have if I bought something. Uh, Cindy, thank you. <laughs> My lot has one, Christina. Oh, they're all feeling bad now. <laughs> well, she has two Varys, so she needed two of those. So. <laughs> Many of the many of us already have them, Donna. They all they they are also great for diaper bags. Oh, Shelly, yes. Send them along with every purse that you sell. Count them all, a dollar a piece. I'll buy them all and it's a wrap. All right, Carl. I'll get in touch with you about them. <laughs> so funny. Minus one to Amy Dorito. Was it Amy Dorito? Yeah. Yeah, it was Amy Dorito. Amy's going to give me $4 for one. How do you like that, Carl? <laughs> That's a good idea, though, Shriker. What did what did you say that I missed? Well, every purse that you sell, throw one in. Oh. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Uh-oh. Mama G's here. We're all in trouble. What's that little purse all by its nose? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bloom. It's really cute. It's a really cute little purse. I'll buy it's lonesome. Hi, Mama G. Thanks for coming in. All right, you guys. I don't think I can beg anybody else to spend four dollars. You guys have been great. You rocked it. My God, four hours, four and a half hours. You guys are awesome. Tomorrow, um, the schedule is I'm shipping all morning. If I win the storage unit, I'll take you guys with me down to Boca. Catherine, Mary, you want one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And I have something coming out to you. So I have your Garfields that I'll be mailing out to you tomorrow. Mama G wants one. I'll send four dollars to wear. <laughs> Mama G, you want one? She wants to see that little bag, though. She wants to see the little... William! Hello, hello! Um, okay, so if I win that storage unit, I will take you with me down to Boca to go see the storage unit. If I don't win the storage unit, I will be coming on. Sandy Kirk, you want one too, honey? All right. See? You just gotta beg. <laughs> you just gotta beg them to buy stuff and they no, buy it's it. Not that. You just gotta show them the advantages of buying one. <laughs> okay, so this is um this is the uh oh god I can't remember now. It's the um Lily Bloom. Lily Bloom, not to be confused with Lily Pulitzer. Lily Bloom. It's just a little cute little lily bloom. It's like it's like a nylon with a canvas strap. It's a crossbody. Little lily bloom. Mama G, you bought a purse organizer, a liner yeah. to protect your nice purses. You don't have to buy one, Mama G. Nobody has to buy one. Everybody's like, she's like four dollars. Where do I send it? It's okay. It's, so this is really cute. It's got the little spot for the ID and I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of done. You'll be back I, tomorrow. I need to go eat. I haven't eaten and it's quarter seven at night. I'll just send you money, Mama G says. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you for that. That will save me on shipping. Thank you very much. These days I'm trying to save as much as I can on shipping. I think my next round of gift certificates, I'm going to figure out a way. I have to think about doing it where people have to pay shipping on like the gift certificate money can be used towards the purchase of the item, but I somehow have to charge for shipping because I know it's going to be really hard to do that, right? It's going to be more figuring out on my end, which I already have 
so much figuring out. Billing is so hard. Thank you, Carl. Carl, shush. I need some cottage kitties too, Donna. <laughs> I can put together a lot of cottage kitties. So go over your schedule tomorrow again. You only got halfway through it. Oh, so I'm winning on a storage unit down in Boca Raton. If I win it, I'm going to take you guys with me on a ride and we'll go down and see what I bought at the storage unit. I'm not going to take anything out of it because I can't even move my shoulder. So I probably will just go down there with my daughters and maybe just fill the truck with maybe some light stuff that they can lift. I can't lift anything right now. I couldn't even hang the coats up as I was selling them. It hurt so bad, so bad. And um, if I don't win the storage unit, then I'm going to come on tomorrow afternoon after I get my shipping out. So just be subscribed. Um, will I do another four and a half hours? Probably not, but maybe I'm crazy enough to do stuff like that. What's if, Catherine asking about? If anyone changes their mind on about the binder, I would love to have one. The binder I gave away to Fancy Pinks. Oh. Is that what you're talking about, oh. Catherine? Yes, after Mr. Buys a Lot, for sure. I'll keep my eyes open. I, I probably have more binders. I'm not even like halfway through. Okay. Yep. Is she saying yes? I'm not even halfway through my back room. I, st I still can't even get to the back end of it. So I have no business buying a storage unit. But I saw something in there that intrigued me. So do you have enough space for it? My mud room is completely empty. And I got I got space in there. Oh, no, Fancy. It's okay, honey. You keep it. You can use that for school. I'll find another one. I'll find another one, Fancy, but that was very nice of you to offer it up to Mary. Shriker, can you tell her to invoice me for some freaking kitties? <laughs> you said something about $4. Oh, it's these. It's these for $4, my easy bag. It's like a um, organizer for your purse. That's what this is for $4. I didn't, Heather. I didn't. How many kitties do you want, Mama G? <laughs> One to 100. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> no, Heather, no gift certificates today. Not yet. I gotta get I gotta get to 80% redeemed. Hey John. Have any holsters? That's so weird that you're asking that question. That's so weird. I just I threw one away earlier. Cause it was it was leather. And it was like all cracked and it was in like really rough shape. But how random is that? I found one in a box that I was, cause I have boxes I haven't even like looked through, you know, from storage units that I bought and I found a holster and I'm like, oh, this is kind of neat. And then I looked at it and it was like starting to crack. So I like, I did like the twist test on it and the whole thing just like the leather just, it was so dry rotted that it just collapsed. Okay, Mama G's getting five kitties. She wants five kitties? Okay. All right, Tom. Five kitties for Mama G. So, yeah, if it was an old military one, it still would have been worth something. If it had U.S. on the side of it. No, it was just a black leather... Donna, when are you going live again? Tomorrow. 
selling those babies, Elizabeth. <laughs> well, they no need a good home. They're not getting a good home here, honey. No midnight auction tonight. <laughs> Christine, <laughs> yes, all the rats. I mean, cats. <laughs> Christine, you're so funny. <laughs> That's hysterical. Oh my God, that is so funny. <laughs> lava lamp. Um, if I stay here tonight, I'll put lava lamp on. <laughs> Got my monkey puppet today. I love him. Yay, Karen. Awesome. Awesome. He's so cool, right, Karen? He's so... <laughs> you got rats. No, I have cats. You guys are so funny. <laughs> you guys are hysterical, Christine. Oh, yeah, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> that is so funny. Got your package, but not opening until I reach listing goal. Oh, that's a good, that's a good um, incentive, John, to do that. That's a really good incentive. He's got a listing goal. He bought those awesome pinups. Remember those girls? He's so adorable, right, Karen? Did you get, Karen, did you get the package from, um, Nose picking? Has that arrived yet? Because he sent it out last week. So I'm hoping you got that. This is how you got a duct in your a, a hole in your in your AC duct. Rats. Yeah. And Karen's naming that thing fuzzy face. Hi, Lindsay Ann. Oh, yes, you got it. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you. I knew I made that mistake like like right after the postman and I tried to intercept it, you know, from nose picking. And I was just I wanted him to just put but I knew I made that mistake. God, like as soon as it went out, I was like, oh, God, I think I put the wrong label on the wrong package. It happens. Not so often. I mean, for the amount of stuff that I ship out, you guys, the mistakes, I make like maybe one or two mistakes a month when you consider the, the odds. Like I, I just, I have 35, 35 orders that I just sold this afternoon. And yesterday was another like 20 something, I think the day before. So I, I right now I've, I've got probably like 75, 80 packages, not just like one item put in, in a poly mailer and ship it out. I'm talking big lots like what's on this table. Donna, you need to rest your shoulder. Give it a chance to heal itself. I, I care because I love you very much. Oh, Catherine, you're so sweet. I know. I don't know where my girls were. I was waiting for them to come so that they would put... Um, Hey, Matthew, put one of those patches on me, but I've got that cream. I'm going to go put that cream on it and I'm just going to relax for like an hour and just um, chill out. And then um, I'll try to do some invoicing and I don't know if I'll do billing tonight, but I'll probably get my invoices out anyways. That way tomorrow morning, everybody's paid and I can just ship out. Right. You guys are awesome. Traker, thank you so much. You bet. Till tomorrow. Lava lamp live tonight. I'll set her up. Let and we'll see, you guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow, either for another live auction or a trip down to Boca Raton to look at a storage unit. We'll see. Yes, Steve Bynes, your box is going out tomorrow. Absolutely, sweetheart. Donna, I got my Beanie Babies today. We opened one of them. Thank you. Oh, good. Yes, we'll do Lava Lamp tonight, Jenny. We'll all go hang out in there. All right, you guys. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everybody.